You ready? You ready? All right, all right, all right. Spending their time as they were playing there. What's up? I do have a question though. Go ahead. They didn't like Lamelo go um, overseas. overseas. Like, what was that about? Yeah, so you you can take another route like that too if you if you like want. Is, so that's yeah, like if, if, yeah, if, if, that. if you're Lamar overseas, Ball had a league kind of like yeah, that, true. Like I mean, that's where it like Luka's from, out, like, yeah. like Jokic is from, Giannis. All these guys are from overseas. Mm -hmm. So there's, I mean, there's three you know routes you can take to get to the NBA, and that's mm -hmm. kind of what they they just pointed out. Los and Sai was like Lamelo Ball, for example. You know, he took the overseas route where he kind of during his high school years, instead of going to high school like a normal student, he was he was playing basketball, and he decided to go overseas and then take the route to the NBA. Weebies, 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 weebies. Welcome back, you guys. It's episode six. I'm with the host, CJ, and then I'm your co-host, ZD. Uh, you're watching Three Man Weave. Three Man, Three Man, uh, Three Man, Three Man, Three, three, man, man, three, three man. man, Three Man. Um, we're with some special guests over to my right over here. Um, we got Los right here, and then Third Eye Sai right here. Why don't you guys introduce yourselves for a little bit? I'm just Los. Yeah, these yeah, you're on, you're right on right our pod. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's been on the uh, chopped four, it up a little. Three, I think episode something? two or three. Two or three, yeah. I, I chopped it up a little bit. I was off camera, now I'm on camera. It is weird. Sure. <laughs> and what's up, Sai? I'm Sai, so I'm I'm really just I'm here, honestly. Like <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. He's the hype man. I'm 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 not really like deep into the hoops like that, but you know, if if there's something that's brought upon my attention that I have knowledge about, then I, I'll be talking about it. Hundred percent, hundred percent for yeah, sure. Appreciate y'all yeah. for joining us. Not yes, for sure. Sir. And yeah. um we really appreciate you. Appreciate you guys like watching the last episode too. Yeah. I know we uh, we did the rankings for the the point guard yeah. and uh, so that's that was really cool cool to do. Um, we got me a little CJ had, like, at the end. We're gonna be doing shooting guards. Yeah, we so are. We're gonna be doing the uh, the next position. But me and CJ had pretty similar lists. If you guys want to go check out episode five, yeah, that would that be out. awesome. Um, but episode six, I think we can kind of just get right into it. We're gonna be kind of starting off with the with the NBA draft. That was probably the most recent biggest thing that happened in the off season. Yep. yep. Um, so we're gonna kind of do it back. Backwards, we're gonna go reverse, and then we're gonna go to one because um, kind of everybody knows if you watch hoops, who got drafted at number one. So there's not really a point in starting off with that. Um, so yeah, I think the pi the Pistons were picking at five, yeah, right, um, and they took a Thompson twin. I'm, I, I get their names mixed up, so I'm sorry. Yeah, they ever I don't see know this. I'm, I, I know it's Asar and, and Amen. I think it was Asar, Asar right? Asar, so Asar Thompson. got drafted to the Pistons. What do you think? I think it's a great fit. He's a great athlete. If you guys do not know who the Thompson twins are, definitely go check them out because um, I feel like they're kind of underrated. Like if you don't really. If you're just a casual, like you probably yeah. won't know who these guys are. But if you have the time, definitely go on YouTube. There's a lot of good resources. You can definitely check these guys out. But mm -hmm. um, Asar yeah. Thompson, six seven. Yeah, I was about to say honestly, crazy really, like, prospect. I'm, I don't really. I'm not like the most like tapped knowledgeable about him. I know that the Thompson yeah. twins were like both two great players, big wings that can like are athletic, play mm -hmm. defense and stuff like that. I think. Um, Amen, mm -hmm. the other yeah, one. Yeah, the other one. The other brother uh, is actually like the quote unquote better one. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah. He's just more the complete player. Prototypical athlete. Yeah, and yeah. He, he's like, I think he's more the playmaker as well. Yep, I think Asar right. is one, uh, he was a more shooter mm -hmm. that is kind of like the same type of mold, just not as good as a playmaker. Yeah. So that was kind of. Like I've been the watching difference a lot of between yeah yeah, 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 I got you. But like other than that, they're they're pretty. I similar. think they're both six seven, mm -hmm. two oh five. Yeah, they actually went to overtime. Elite. I was gonna say that's the interesting thing. Like you that, can talk that, about that. I was say that was something with this draft. I think only one player, one player in the yeah, top five to went to a college. College, yeah. The other, were, yeah, the other four were either overseas or um, the academies, academies and, and, and the, stuff like that. Yeah, so yeah. it's cool to see that because. Uh, I feel like it's slowly getting back to the point where like 
players that are like 18 or like yeah. you know, like high schoolers might be able to come into the league eventually again. For so sure. Right. That's kind of the vibes that I'm Yeah, getting, dude. That's essentially what these two players were, you know, like they were those type of players that probably could have entered the draft like last year. Like yeah. realistically, and they probably would have been first round picks. Yeah. But, um, I think they, they spent like two years in the, the playing for overtime elite. So mm-hmm. they were playing against like high level competition. Yeah. I was going to say, so I mean, if, you're pretty knowledgeable about that whole thing, right? Overtime elite. Or yeah, like, like I, well, I would say like they're for, for someone that doesn't know. What yeah, that they, is, if what they what? don't know, uh, well, so basically you can now what CJ was kind of talking about earlier is like there's alternate routes to get to the NBA now if you do not want to take the typical college like the Duke University, the North Carolina University, the typical college you know route, mm-hmm. um, and it's through these academies, um, and they also have the G League, and that's with the NBA that's actually partnered, but they were actually playing with a separate thing. Um, overtime is now created, I think they are partnered with somebody who's partnered with the NBA, but I don't think they're partnered directly with them. Um, but basically they were playing in uh, an academy and that's where instead of like basically going to high school, that's where they were spending their time is they were playing there. What's up? I do have a question though. Go ahead. They didn't like LaMelo go um, overseas. overseas. Like what was that about? Yeah. So you, you can take another route like that too. If you, if you like want to be, so that's yeah, like if, if, yeah, if, if, that. if you're Lamar overseas, Ball had a league kind of like, yeah, that, true. like, I mean, that's where it like, didn't work out, from, but like, yeah. like Jokic is from Giannis, all these guys are from overseas. Mm-hmm. So there's, I mean, there's three, you know, routes you can take to get to the NBA and that's mm-hmm. kind of what they, they just pointed out. Los and Sai was like LaMelo Ball, for example, you know, he took the overseas route where he kind of during his high school years, instead of going to high school, like a normal student, he was, he was playing basketball and he decided to go overseas and then take the route to the NBA. Yeah. Um, but these guys, they were playing in an academy and basically for like two years, they've been working on their game and just playing against get, high level competition. Yeah, I was like getting to the point where they like can be in the league. Exactly. Without having to go to college. Right, like, exactly. Same sense. type of thing because they would probably be doing the same thing at college. Yeah. Right? But it's like... In the NBA, like the reason that's possible is because the NBA basically changed the rules where instead, now it's not, you don't have to go to college. You have to do one year of like certified regulation like something it's like a different wording for it but you have to basically play in like a certain level of competition Mm, um to now be entered in the draft like a year of that it doesn't have to be college it just has to encompass like nba level competition if that makes sense um so i think that's pretty interesting that these guys were kind of they went top five so obviously they're very skilled um and it goes to show you that there's definitely other ways to get in the nba but yeah that's kind of the background on that but yeah he's definitely a great player um i think you know i think his defense is probably his like greatest asset yeah um and i think that's kind of why the pistons drafted them is they had kind of went with offense the last two years or like last few years it's been kate Kate, cunningham jay 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 like guys who are pretty offensive minded Um, but thompson is like he's gonna lock it he's gonna lock you up and he takes pride in playing defense yeah i think that's sick bro yeah and i think he it said he averaged 16.3 points on 48 30 67 splits Mm -hmm. which like isn't the best he's not a good free throw shooter but like great super athletic it's gonna i feel like he's probably gonna like kind of glue that team together you yeah know, i feel like that's the type of player that detroit's missed it's a good fit basically i honestly think like detroit's like on the come up man like i'm yeah, it, it's a bro. lot of good teams in the it's east monty williams monty williams, williams, K, williams K, yeah k j like we said yeah. Isaiah bogdanovich Stewart, like yeah they, for they sure got a, they got a good they have team, a squad just young they need um i think he could potentially be just that need direction team. yeah mm-hmm. like who, who's going to, like, kind of be on the defensive end? Who's going to be our anchor? You know? Right. And he could be that. So, yeah. And it's not like they're expecting him to go out average 25 points. Like, they have Cade doing that. Yeah, for and he sure. he wasn't exactly. even healthy this past season. So. Yeah, and he's going to come back stronger yeah, probably, so too. so I'm excited so. for that. That was a great pick. Yeah, it was a great I, pick by them. I, like, out of 10, if we had a rate, you want to rate it out of 10? I'd give yeah. this one, like, an 8. Yeah. Like, it's I, a tie I, yeah, up there. Like, because realistically, like, I mean, I don't For think, where they were in the draft. Because like, yeah, like, the Pistons also had the worst record in the NBA last season. Yeah, they did not they get the fifth Yeah, they got the fifth pick. So they kind of, you know, yeah, their cards were. Imagine Cade with Wemby. Oh. Don't bring that up. That's crazy. Pistons fans Sorry, are Pistons fans. <laughs> that that, that might have hurt a little bit. But I would say probably like an eight. I mean, yeah, I would say like an eight. Just for the that they had. And I mean, obviously, it wasn't the best circumstances. For sure. But for the type of player that he is and the type of player that they're missing, I feel like that was a good good spot. What year did the Pistons have like a good year? Because didn't they, didn't they have like, they were like semi close, like a... Didn't they have I think a they were like close to the playoffs one year, but they haven't... They, they haven't been, like, been good in like a solid like... Decade, decade, yeah, like yeah. a while. It's been a minute. It's like a long I, I think time. it was. I'm, ta- I'm think. Wasn't it like with Michael Jordan? Like when he. Well, was it was like playing. '90s and 2000s. I was gonna say early 2000s. Most of these teams sure. in the lottery haven't been good for a while. Yeah. 
like we're about to see like yeah, you with the right, Rockets. Going to the next we'll one go to the next one. Yeah, it's a good little brother, transition. Into, a men Thompson. You want to talk about him for a little bit? Yeah, he's same got, like, type. Same, same kind of yeah, same. I mean, I think we kind of talked about it a little bit earlier as yeah. well. He's he's the same type of player, six seven, two hundred pounds. Better on he, offense. Probably. He's the scoring version of his brother, and mm-hmm. I mean, Everybody obviously the Rockets are they're just trying to. I mean, I the think I talked to, about it with y'all earlier before we started running the cameras, like. I've been watching videos and they've been saying that all that team is is nothing but like AAU all stars just yeah. going out there hooping, not really having a direction, <laughs> right. and just like, hey, go see if y'all can win some games, you know. Right. So that's kind of, I mean, honestly, I think that he is uh, like an addition to that, but he's also a missing factor with the whole defense aspect. Yeah, as well. bro. Because he he is They're probably kind of empty, just there. as good as his brother on defense, but better at scoring and like. Right. I mean, I think we talk about it all the time, but like, it doesn't hurt to be able to drop like twenty. Yeah, get, like, you get that need, twenty. He's like a two 25. way, two way like player, so it's cool to see him go to Houston. I mean, for that pick, I mean, I feel like he's probably the best player for them. Yeah, for so sure. I would probably rate it honestly probably the same. Yeah, I'm about to like say, I'm about eight. to say this is like a nine for me. Really, yeah, this is better than the Pistons pick. Yeah, in my opinion, but like kind of uh, CJ was saying, he's just a better scorer, uh, Amen, and is. like a play more of a playmaker. As yeah, well. he's more of a playmaker. Um, but I just think the Rockets are are on the come up, man. I think that this pick was definitely a step in the right direction for what they're trying to do. I know mm-hmm. CJ was kind of talking about it earlier, but they they have like a bunch of explosive guards right now and like young guards that need to go in a certain direction with like Kevin Porter Jr. and Jalen Green and adding Amon Thompson to that isn't, you know, going to hurt. And then they might have the James Harden thing. So we'll see. They might get that veteran player who's kind of been there before, done that, has the Mm -hmm. playoff experience. Um, And that would be... He's going to be starting right off rip, you think? Starting three right there? Yeah. Yeah. You have to. so. You have to. Lottery uh, picks are going to start. KPJ, Jalen Green, him. Yeah, I was going to say he's going to start at the, the forward probably. And then they'll have Al P, bro. Al Pren Shungun. If you Shungun, if yeah. y'all don't if you know, know who you that know. is, bro, Cold. definitely do your research because uh, he's. Yo, I played on the Rockets on two K. Sungun, bro. Uh, he's bro Sungun would help me so much. Hey, in the yeah, pick and like roll. we're saying, he's the Rockets nice. are nice. Yeah, yeah they, I think for for me, like, it's a great pick. It's like a nine. Yeah, yeah. It, it's like one of those teams where like it, they have so much talent. It's just if they could piece it together. Like I'm, I'm not going to say they can because I haven't, it hasn't been. They got Ime. Yeah. Ime is nice. He's a good pickup. And it's one of those things where like they just, and they got um, Cam Whitmore. In yeah. They got well. Cam I think Whitmore, he fell to like bro. 21. Yeah. He was a projected like top five pick. For sure. So that was they crazy. have a lot of talent. So for me, it's just seeing if that ca- talent can, um, translate to wins because yeah you can have all the talent in the world but if you can't put it together then there's no point you know right like it's it's kind of like not dead weight but like just trading pieces yeah at that you, point. you're stuck like, in place that's you know? kind of what the um the kings had yeah with, with De'Aaron and yeah Tyrese bro. and I mean you got another all star but like obviously that only got you so far right. So. I mean, if, if they look at it like that, I think they're in that type of situation where they can make a big splash if one of these players that turns into a superstar but is behind another superstar. Like, Takes they have that, next that step. depth, yeah. and they're all on, like, their rookie contract. Oh, so heck yeah, for just sure. Just, like, go out ball, and, like, we'll see where it goes from there. We'll see if you're going to yeah. be a cornerstone of this franchise. For sure, so. yeah. I think Amon Thompson was a great pick for them. And, mm-hmm. um, yeah, like like I said earlier, it kind of shows you, like, the, the direction that the Rockets want to go. Mm-hmm. And, like CJ is saying, they, they they can take that next step. So it'll be interesting. But uh, going into our third pick, uh, Scoot Henderson, man. Um, what, what do you think? Because uh, we we we've kind of talked about him before on this podcast. If mm-hmm. you, you guys are like you know regular watchers, we've we kind of spoke about you know Scoot's prototype and kind of what type of player he he kind of like models his game after. Mm-hmm. I thought it was really cool how you know he said in an interview that he he. He thinks D- Derrick Rose is his favorite player, and I think that's like a perfect player to like look up to if you're if you're Scoot, yeah, because um, he's just super hyper athletic. I think the Blazers were kind of in a little rut here with what they wanted to do because mm-hmm. um, they they're so guard heavy already with Simon. Yeah, we and talked Lillard about that, bro. That, talk, you want to yeah, go into that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, I guess like I kind of predicted. I mean, we obviously knew who was going to go one, but I kind of predicted who I thought was going to go two and three, mm-hmm. and that's what it turned what out happened? to be. But, like, yeah. for me, I feel like Portland, if it's just the whole situation with Dame, it's like 
Are you trading him or are you keeping him? You have to decide. It's hard. Trade him, I think please. that was factored into the pick. Like Miami. you're talking about. It, That's it, why it's it hard matters. to decide. And like I saw that Dame said that he didn't like the pick. So yeah. it's like, what what oh. are we doing with that? And it's like. Well, yeah, because they picked another guard. He yeah. I know. A guard that is like probably going to be really good. But you keep telling your arguably greatest player of franchise history that you're going to build team around him. And like realistically. Like, nah, for sure. You can only. I feel like the Portland Trailblazers alone have like kind of shown us that you can only get so far with two offensive heavy guards. Right. And that is a conference. Like in history. In history. Yeah. yeah, Like it's repeated itself. And like he has CJ who was like a fringe all-star. Yeah. me averaging 25. Oh bro. Yeah. He was getting to it on the game was an all-star as well. And it's like, but that only got you to conference finals. So for sure. I don't know. Like for me, it was, if I was the Portland Trailblazer, I probably would have traded this and probably got like a All Star because there was I think they were talking about Zion. I think what I would have done is I would have picked yeah. Scoot and then <laughs> traded Scoot to somebody who someone needed then and and this is the we we have another segment a little bit later, but we'll talk about best available mm. versus good fit. Yeah, I don't think this is good fit, but this no. was the best available. It was the best available and, for sure, and I'm that type of person. Yeah, yeah, I think we we were, we were talking, about talking about it later. On yeah, stuff. yeah, like but that. like I think the Blazers. That's why I think I'm gonna give this an eight, just because okay. Scoot is is a honestly to he me seems he seems pretty, generational, yeah, bro. Yeah, dog, like I'm about to say, he's like a he's dog a dog. For, yeah, like, like that's not a bad pick. That's a pick that you you should be very happy yeah. about, no matter what team yeah. you, you play for. Um, I just think the Blazers are gonna have some things to figure out this off season, especially right. with Damian Lillard, bro, and then especially with how their roster is constructed. Anthony Simon, yeah, and they got Shaw. so many guards, and um, they haven't been good for years. So. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah, crazy. But uh, I mean, like you said, great, great pick for the talent. Like, yeah, he exactly. was probably the best available at that time. He could have went second, which I guess that's what we'll go into now. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Charlotte Hornets draft Brandon Miller. <sighs> I mean, I I don't think that's a bad pick. I think for me personally, we already as the Hornets, we already have Lamelo Ball. He is an All Star point guard. He just can't stay healthy. But I think they've kind of invested into him already. So it's like, why would you get Scoot personally? Right. Another guard. Like another guard. Like it just it doesn't mix well. Like I don't I don't like that two ball dominant heavy. So you like this pick? Yeah, yeah I'd love I mean, yeah, that was who I would have picked if I was them. And like it's crazy <laughs> to see that like everyone was like because of course they probably were like, Oh, you've been he talking looks about cold, bro. He, yeah, he looks like a killer for <laughs> yeah, real. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And his favorite player is Paul George. So yeah, yeah, yeah. if he's anything like who his favorite player is, I mean that that's arguably one of the best two way players in the league no, right yeah. now. You know, so it's like and I think that's what Charlotte's missing. They've they've had and honestly Charlotte is a terrible drafting team. Oh terrible. Dude. Like <laughs> trash buns real. Like I think I was yeah. looking at it, it was like <laughs> Like, uh, what Cody Zell? Bro, they like, they drafted like James Booknight, <laughs> Book like Knight. just like they, uh, they have first and round picks Michael every King year. Kiss, yeah, like, like just they just have first round picks every year, and they always seem to get it wrong. Yeah, but like CJ saying, I and think they got it before. right. Um, Brandon Miller, if y'all don't know, he's from Alabama, so he mm-hmm. was the one player in the top five that went to the Division One college. Yep, um, he was he won. He's, like, he's six nine, six, nine. like nineteen twenty a game mm-hmm. in the SEC. Um, I think he like led. The SEC yeah, bro. scoring or something? Yeah, for he's sure. a freshman. Yeah. So he dude. could he could get to it, man. Yeah, like, like CJ was saying, he's a killer, dude. I, I don't I don't think it was a bad pick. I think it was just like one of those you you were probably expecting to draft Scoot just because mm-hmm. we had all the hype behind him. And right. like that was who Wemby was going against and like when they had that little exhibition match when they came to the States and played the Ignite and stuff like that. Yeah. So. And, and and I argue like if you were in the top three of this draft, you were gonna walk away a winner. Yeah. In my opinion. Yeah. Um Brandon Miller again, bro, like he's just He's 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 with it. I think yeah. he's gonna be good this year. Like I think right away. Yeah. Um, we're just gonna see because I think they said that the Hornets really liked his interview and his draft workout, which is cool. Because like I'm I'm assuming they worked out a bunch of other people yeah. and they just weren't really like feeling them. So yeah. obviously Brandon Miller brings something different to the table. Mm-hmm. So it'll be interesting to see what they do with yeah, him. Yeah, I'm excited. Like. I- Hopefully Lamelo can stay healthy. This rookie of the year race is going to be nice, man. I'm excited to see. Yeah, we're going to see because Chet's going to be in it too. Your yep. your boy. You so know. we'll and see. I, I'm excited for that. I mean, I still think Victor's going to win. But. What kind of player we'll is he? Like mm. who? Brandon. Brandon Miller. Yeah. Like so an analysis. Kind of like Paul George. Uh, an elite scorer who's equally comfortable attacking the rim as he is launching threes. Miller has excellent size at six foot nine with the wingspan approaching seven feet, while he'll 
need to eventually add weight. Miller's already a crafty scorer who uses his length and athleticism to get to the hoop and finish over and around defenders. Scoring is his calling card, but Miller is a willing passer who displays high-level vision traits as a ball handler and and in the pick-and-roll. Mechanics-wise, Miller's jump shot is nearly flawless, and he hits a three-point percentage of 38.4 and a free throw of 85.9. Right. So he, he's yeah, a sniper he's, yeah. that can, like, get to the rim. I mean, yeah, yeah, dude. Like, nah, he's six foot nine. He's six, athletic, bro, so like, I think that was the main thing for me. It's like... That is be good on the that's hard end, to like, find. In yeah, this league. yeah. Like if you Tatum, yeah. You I mean, know, like, what Kawhi? Yeah, PG, PG Tatum. Like, that's, Tatum. That's pretty like, much it. At that size, play. you're not gonna really get anybody else like that. So he's explosive. Like yeah. So I'm, I'm hoping I'm hoping he does well to kind of prove because like I don't, I'll never understand when like a team like will boo a draft pick. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like that shit never just sits right with me. Like yeah, if this is supposed to be your guy. He's the number two pick. Like. Unless you, it was like Anthony Bennett. Yeah, that, I mean yeah. that's understandable, but like with like that's projection, like yeah. who he is. <laughs> his day, bro. Yeah, that was just a. Yeah, weak that's, that's, that's besides yeah. the point. No disrespect. Yeah, yeah, no disrespect. not disrespect, but like, yeah, you. It wasn't. But it. right, like Brandon Miller's good. Like, like CJ just read the analysis. There's no reason <laughs> to be booing him. He's obviously he's credible, bro. Like he he has a track record. He's, I, it might have been low key his off the court things as well. I mean, he yeah, did have he's a been huge, involved in some some things, and we don't really of, need to get into. No, nah, we don't need. We don't need to. Yeah, you already know. Oh, yeah, but, but if you can do some research on kind of what that I, was. I feel like that might have been why. That was like, probably why. Yeah. But he still went top three, so obviously oh, it didn't, it didn't matter that huge much. Impact, yeah. But, but I guess, yeah, I mean. I think Victor had it always the number one. Oh, easy. Yeah, yeah, I guess we could go into it's, that. It's cool. So, we'll go into Victor. Number one pick. Victor we'll talk about him for Yama. a little bit because he's so cool. Yeah. No, he, I honestly, bro, like, I think. I think I've like yeah. after watching the way he is and like kind of get like the type of getting to know him not even on a personal level but just like JJ hearing Reddick. how he talks right. JJ Reddick's right. podcast like it was just dope seeing his mentality and yeah, that's why I know bro. he was like a winner like out of off rip like and I think that says a lot about someone who's nineteen who's about to get the franchise on his like shoulders and like he's gonna have to carry that load and he's he's like all right we're building this team around this kid and he's. Like oh, this is whatever. Like I just, I just love to play basketball, and I'm yeah. just having to be good right. at it. The like, attitude yeah, kind of nice. like a Jokic, but like you could tell he's a lot more like camera trained. Like he right. knows yeah. Yeah. how to he's like, not, like portray his her. emotions. Yeah. He said so, like, on the podcast with JJ Redick, uh, JJ Redick was talking about how. Oh, I wish you know I could play as freely as you and be as free as you. And, yeah, just in the world. And, 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 and he was like, "You already are, you know." But like <laughs> Whoa, to answer like bro. that, like he's nineteen, like it's yeah. true. That's, like yeah. you are free already, you know. Like he's just Man. doing like what CJ was saying. He's just playing basketball. He's being himself. Yeah. I mean, if, y'all, if you guys don't know who Victor Wembanyama is, he's nineteen. He's from France. A seven five. Like oh, he's from France. Yeah, yeah but so he's sense. from that, France. I'm not gonna lie. Um, seven not five. Sure. He can shoot threes. Shoot, you know, he can do pretty much anything, anything. on a basketball court. He's a very good defender, obviously, because he's huge. Yeah. Um, like I said, he can dribble even. He can pass. He's a, he's a great, he's a willing passer. Um, it's just, you know, it's it's, it's going to be crazy to watch his, his, like, progression and stuff and to see what he can do for the Spurs. And it's so cool that he went to the San Antonio Spurs. Like, that's right in our backyard. Yeah, man, I, for, I like it for that yeah. reason. Yeah. yeah. I don't really give a fuck about Spurs. I don't Spurs, like the Spurs, right? but like, I like it <laughs> for cool what I said. I yeah. go to his We're game. Gonna go watch right in the We're backyard. Gonna, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I literally was tweeting like, bro, I got to watch this man it's, play. It's an hour sure. and 10 minutes away. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, yeah. I will, right and they play street. at Moody Center. Like, they played last year, so they're probably going to play this. He's the best prospect since LeBron, probably. Yeah. I just I just hope he, like, actually lives up to it though. and i think he can he, like, he definitely I think, can I think there's but issues sometimes with players that are that tall yeah that, like, i say we well, haven't really i talked think about if that, he but. stays healthy and like his path his career path goes well he could be like a, like a yeah, generational player. Player. So, like yeah. when you're seven five it's very hard to move yeah obviously but it looks like he's he's not like a seven like, he doesn't look like he's like yeah, yeah. he moves like he's a guard. fluid that's like, the thing that's different he gets about when he dribbles it's not like he's like clunky mm-hmm. he like is fluid with his motions, so I think yeah. he's straight, bro. Yeah, and I, bad, yeah. I've seen yeah. like the training regimens that he does, and mm-hmm. it, like is like like weird stuff that you mm-hmm. wouldn't even think to train. And he's yeah. like like walking on his toes, like like yep. prone no, position, no, no like, off the court issues, no attitude issues, no, no injury concerns, mm-hmm. no like this is this is the guy, this is the guy, and, it's, uh, and of course he's going to San solid. Antonio. Yeah, solid. he's he's beyond solid. Like he could be, he could be like a Hall of Famer yeah. for sure, and. uh 
it's just gonna be you know amazing. Was, seven five really, though is tall. Yeah, seven five that's, is crazy. Really tall. He's We're blessed huge. to be alive, man. To right. see to see this him. This is crazy. He's been pretty much the number one pick for like two years. Yeah, literally. Man. He and was like, like 16, 17. And I feel like, bad for him too sometimes because I feel like they kind of talk about him like a circus animal. Like, we've never seen somebody like yeah. this before and he's an alien and Don't all that. Don't think like, he'll be an all-star? I think so. First not not first he, year. No, nah, I don't think so. I don't think first Maybe. year. Maybe. Two seconds. You've seen it's well, well, happened before. It has. I feel like, but I feel like it hasn't happened in a while though. Yeah, but I feel like if if he's it, I feel like he might. If the, if the Spurs are good Rose, because man. of him, if the Spurs are good because of him, he'll be an all-star. You're right. I, so that's a good point that Los brings up. Like, if the Spurs are actually good, he will be an all-star. There's no way he can't. So, but wait, but, but go back to what were you saying? Because I wanted to know, like, what you were about to say about, like, what were what people doing what? What you mean? Like, you were, like, people saying, like, oh, like, he's an alien. Oh, like, like, what, what I just you- I just think it's cool how he can handle that. Like, he... Because if... To me, when like if I were to hear that, like and stuff like that, I'd be like, oh, like what the fuck? Like people are looking at me like I'm an alien, or like you haven't ever seen. He kind of embraces it though. Yeah, but like, I say like he seems that. like he's ready for that. Yeah, he, he doesn't I think he's ready that. for that moment. Like, so like people are looking at him like he's just different, like beyond. Right. Well, I mean, he is different. Yeah, no, he like, is. Yeah, obviously, yeah, my like, bad. He's yeah, like he is he's like not two feet like, but taller he is, than like, right. a lot of people. He's so. marketable too. He knows like, like he's like he's camera trained. Like yeah, just from the podcast, you could tell he's also and he's smart. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be really crazy, smart. but yeah. The so the the last time a rookie made All Star game was Blake Griffin in 2011. Ah, so that's a cool Fun little fact. tidbit. But yeah, for uh, sure. I guess we could end this little section off. Who do you think is gonna win Rookie of the Year? Probably Victor if he stays healthy. Like if he doesn't get hurt or anything. And, and there's minimum. This is a new thing about is, the next year. Minimum. If y'all don't know, if you're casual watching, like normally. In years past, there hasn't been a minimum amount of games to win these awards. Awards, but now there will be. So you have to play sixty-five. Yes, yeah, 60, which is a lot. That's a lot of games. So like, bro. we'll see. Yeah, but it should so be Victor. Too, like, because honestly, like, the, I was reading his his stats. Like, Victor seemed real. Like you said, he's yeah, beyond. He's, he's beyond solid. Like to 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 progress into something like way more. Yeah, so, man, yeah. Honestly, bro. like, yeah, I he's think, beyond. I think you're right. I he's, think he will be. Yeah, he's he's beyond what we've seen before. Like, right. he's he's more yeah. than ready. But to answer your question, like Victor, for sure. What do you yeah. think? Chet, Chet, home grand rookie of the year, baby. Let's get it. I copy that too. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, really, Victor. Y'all are. Yeah. Tr- oh, oh, okay, okay. I thought you said. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, like, <laughs> I was about to say that, like, like, that, that. That's the easy um, pick. I'm going. Yeah. I'm going a little dark horse though. Okay, okay yeah. I was sure. about to say. I feel like you're you're trying to play. You know, Chet, Chet got <laughs> injury <laughs> concerns. <laughs> Chet got injury concerns. Pick, but it was like I don't know because I don't think he'll get that much playing time. To be honest, really? he's a guard. He gonna be behind here. He gonna be on the second unit. So he really has to like ball out for the second unit to be considered for that type of award. You feel me? The only reason I would think of it is because yeah. I'm a Heat fan. But like I'm being realistic about it. He's not gonna. I think I think he'll be like a good player down the line though. I feel like that's a it's still a good pick. Uh, who are you talking about? Um, I don't know his whole name, but the Heat. Oh, just uh, like Juan. Yeah, Juan Joaquin. It's like yeah. Yeah. Um. So we were gonna go through the top ten, like the I would I would say the lottery. Obviously, first, like yeah. in this next segment, and then we'll finish out the first round, and then we'll kind of get into the off season moves, and then we'll kind of start our next stuff. So, yeah. um, after pick five at Asar Thompson, we had Anthony Black to yeah. the Magic. I didn't really like this pick, but I'm gonna be honest, a, I didn't really know much about him. Yeah, so I, didn't, I, I didn't really have any emotions, I didn't, I didn't know a ton, but I think it'll be good again. The Magic are kind of in a weird spot, bro. Like they're just moving, stuck in place. It seems like they just. I just know that they have a lot of good guards, so I didn't think that was a good pick. Yeah, or they have a lot of guards. No, I wouldn't say good guards, but like Jalen Suggs. They have. Uh, Mark. It's a head scratcher. That's what I mean. Like, like it made me think. I would say that this one's probably like a, like a five, six. I mean, no disrespect to Anthony Black. I mean, obviously you're there for a reason, but I don't. I didn't really know much about him, but I think he's like a good like defense, like uh, like. Intensive guard. He's a big mm-hmm. guard, six five, two ten. Went to Arkansas. I think he he averaged yeah. I don't know, eight points, eight point or five point one rebounds, three point nine assists, two point one steals. Yeah, we'll see. I think he'll he should be okay. I'm I'm not hundred percent sure, um, but I know the the next the next pick is kind of interesting because yeah. the 
uh, well, the Pacers traded up yeah. um, to get uh, Kulabali, who they drafted. Yeah, because that was originally drafted by the, the Wizards, Wizards right? right? So, yeah, kind of these trades were interesting. Sometimes they happen after the fact. Oh, no, um, I think he's playing for the Wizards. Right. He got drafted he got, by the Pacers. The, the Pacers and, and then traded. traded to the Wizards. Gotcha. Yeah. So, like, sometimes what these teams will do is they'll draft the player that the other team wants and then do the trade. Yeah, that's instead of that the other way around. Too, like, yeah, it's kind of confusing. Keeping up with it, you're like, hold on, wait, what? Yes. I mean, that's how the Thunders pick was this uh, right. this year as well, and we'll get into that uh-huh. whenever. Luca Trey, yeah. Yeah, Luca Trey. That's probably the um, most iconic that's one. That's an iconic one. Yeah. Um, so, essentially, the, the yeah, so he was traded to Indiana. Um, he's a. You know, he's a big... I think the Pacers got this right on the money. He's a... You know, I, I think he's... Or what is he? Uh, 6'6". Six, 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 yeah, he's a... 195. Yeah, he's a big guard. shooting... Or I think he's like a shooting combo, guard, right? Is he? Yeah, combo guard. He, it says he's a forward, forward. but... I don't I know. I think if he's like a, like a playmaking forward. Though, yeah, like I, I just remember he's like a bigger guard. Yeah, um, and that's good. That's what the Pacers need because I know they kind of have Benedict Matherin. He was their forward. They have they have Tyrese and they have Buddy. Yeah, but I know they need they they need a younger um, player that can definitely get to some more buckets. I think he played with. Victor, Vic. Kirk. Yeah, yeah, I think he, he was playing with, with Wimby. Victor. I think that was a, probably a big. There's always like some like random guy, or like foreign guy, or a player that went off in the tournament, mm-hmm. like NCAA, that like kind of rises up, and he was one like, of those. I think Wemby, him being teammates with Wemby probably helped him helped, out a lot. Yeah. Like they probably saw that, oh, this this kid's actually kind of good. So he has potential. He has size. He he plays defense. Yeah. So I honestly think that's why he kind of got drafted high because. Prior to anyone saying he played with Wemby, I didn't, I didn't, yeah. I didn't know about him. But no, I'm not sure. that tapped in draft like prospects wise. So no, for sure. Yeah, some of these guys like oh, the overseas guys were kind of cool seeing overseas guys now. Guys. Yeah, yeah. Like, get drafted so high. Um, but this next one, so this was we were talking about the trade earlier. Um, so Jarris Rocker was traded to Cherish. what? What was it? It was swapped, right? I yeah, already it was, have confused. Uh, so he yeah. got drafted by the Wizards, but he's going to the Pacers. Pacers, right? So it's, it's so confusing. Yeah. Anyways, so basically, yeah, they drafted Jarris Walker. Um, he's from Houston. Um, shout out my alma mater. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's you know he's a Cougar, uh, but he's like six eight. He's a I think he's a forward. Uh, I don't know too much about him. Um, I do know he was hooping at like in high school for sure. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think he was he was pretty good from what from what I saw and like. Obviously, we can read a little bit of the overview, but yeah, I think the um, the, the Pacers are getting you know something good with that. Yeah. Sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. And going into the next number nine, Taylor Hendricks. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Taylor Hendricks, I don't know too much about him. Uh, he's six ten. He's from UCF. I think he was a uh, like a defense player that oh, like, okay w- got uh really good like just perimeter and paint or yeah perimeter and like good paint defense and just like really versatile i think that was uh his like main thing that yeah Yeah, i I, I, was uh he was so highly touted on yeah i thought i he went to utah right you you, yeah he got drafted by utah Utah, yeah so utah's in an interesting spot with kind of what they've been doing with larry markinen and kind of like how they've been getting players and hoarding picks um so i think this this pick was fine um I'm not really too sure how it's going to play out, though, and kind of how it plays in their roster. But I do know that the Jazz are kind of on the come up a little bit. Yeah. Um, they, if y'all don't yeah. know, they were like the first seed for like a while yeah. last year, like all of the first half of the Walker season. Walker Kessler's really. going and crazy. And Walker Kessler's crazy. Yeah, I must um, say that. I think that's, this might be a good pick for them, especially if he is going to be like a defender, like how he's <laughs> kind of uh, scouted to be. You, like, that would be good to have him... Um, you know, pretty much just funneling and everything. Yeah, into exactly. Walker Kessler, you know, like yeah, for sure. If they get past him first, so a hundred. So. They got lower marketing too, so yeah. Hopefully, the Jazz are on the come up. Shout out Utah, facts. And then the number ten pick, actually, this is one of those trades as well. Uh, Case and Wallace got drafted by the Mavs, but they traded with the Thunder, so he is actually a part of my uh, team. And honestly, bro, I looked up his highlights. He is. He's, he's, he's a real deal. Yeah, I, I think he he might be a good dark horse for rookie of the year type shit. Like mm. so, Chet and him on the same team. That's kind of crazy, like yeah. for rookies. But I just like the way he plays, man. So I, I don't know if you saw, and I'll probably put a little graphic up right here. It said like Lou Dort is like the worst finisher out of like <laughs> however many attempts. Yeah, and like in, on NBA bad. University. Yeah, 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 it's really bad. And like I think that's 
Like, Lou Dort's a great player. He's a good defense, like, pit bull. Like, he's going to stop your best player. And he's only, like, 6'3". So, yeah, he's yeah. a dog. But, like, offensive-wise, it's not there for him. And, like, he has gotten a lot better at shooting the three. But, like, just inconsistent. Yeah. So, I think this was a good pickup for them because they are still getting that good defense. Because uh, Casey Wallace is actually a great defender. And he just is, like, kind of like a pit bull as well. I mean, he's 6'4", so he'd be a little, like, smaller two-guard but um, his offense is probably twice as better. Yeah, like, no, 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 he, for sure. I mean, he, he went to like, Kentucky, bro. Yeah. They always got cold guards over right, there. Always. Yeah, like, like Kaysen Wallace sure. is – like like CJ was saying, man, if you don't know, you can definitely do, look up some highlights because look I looked up, up some highlights because of bro. you, really. Like bro. I wouldn't have even looked yeah, at Kaysen Wallace. Yeah, I looked Kaysen it up literally like the uh, – shit, a couple days, like Friday. Yeah, Saturday, bro. I just came home. I was like, I'll look up some highlights, bro. Like, yeah. And I was very, like, impressed. Yeah, dude. And, of course, it's highlights, so they're going to show their best plays. But, like, just the way he plays. Like, you could tell when a player could make a difference on your team, especially if you've been watching them all year. How that was not? Yeah, right. and that was what we were missing, bro. We were missing a good, like, good two-guard. Like, I mean, I guess Giddy kind of a two-guard, but I, like, see him more as, like, a forward. And, like, yeah, he just dude. played two-guard this year just because of the rotations mm-hmm. and stuff. But he would – him – Casey Wallace maybe even getting a is lot of... Is he starting off the gate, though? That's I don't the question. think so. Okay, I think okay. Luke Dort is. I mean, he has okay. to, right? I mean, he's kind of yeah. like the veteran in there. So. That was the question I wanted yeah. to ask you, because that's like, what matters. It matters, yeah. yeah. And I feel like that's like with this team, like you're going to have to earn your earn role. That. But he could definitely be like six man coming off the bench, maybe Dope. for the first like half of the season. If he balls out, get a little bit of a run towards like the all-star break. Yeah, bro. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like... Getting the rotation going because he is definitely what we were missing. We're yeah. like kind of that. Shout second, out Casey Wallace, bro. Yeah, that That's second unit good balling out. So I'm, I'm excited for that. But yeah, that was the, actually the tenth pick of the draft, and I'm, I'm excited. I I just want to see him play because he actually said his favorite player to watch is Shea, mm. and now they're teammates, and they both went to Kentucky. Makes he, sense. He actually wore 22 because of Shea. Makes sense. Because that was Shea's number in college. So yeah. it's That's it's it's a hard. lot it's a lot deeper than just like, yeah you just know like, yeah like yeah, no, yeah, like, there yeah. there might be reasons as to why he got drafted for sure. Yeah, like everything by, happens for by a the reason. Thunder. Yeah, Honey. so I'm excited, and they and they said he they were highly touted. That's special. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That it's is like special. you're playing with your role model, you yeah, know. Like, Hell yeah. I wish the Lakers had a high like lottery pick like the Thunder do. Well, do, do the Thunder are gonna have high picks like no matter what? No matter what, yeah. yeah like they're they can go Shout to the playoffs to next Presti. year, and they literally made the playoffs this year, and they still gonna get a high draft yeah. pick. So it's top top ten pick. Yeah, we'll see. Exciting. I'm we'll going to this next one. I I forget the, the the team after that is who is it? Was it the Thunder? Uh, no, it was the Magic. Again, okay. Jet Howard. Oh, Jawan Howard's son. Yeah. Um, I look, he forgot. That he had a son in the in the job. Yeah, Loki. I thought this pick was like, again, questionable. Like a head scratch. Like like the match <laughs> for who's on the board. Like Cam. Like again, Cam Whitmore is probably better for you than a Jet Howard. Even though you know I, I respect Jet Howard, you know, ton and obviously he's a great lottery pick. He's six eight. Big guard. Yeah, he's a huge guard. Yeah. Um, but the they, they don't need another guard. Like yeah, the magic. They literally just, just drafted a guard and yeah, Black in the beginning of the draft. Yeah, exactly. So. The magic did not have a great draft in my opinion, but I I, I think you know Jet Howard's gonna be good. I think he'll probably be impact player from the jump. Yeah. Um, I think he could start off really? just because of how, well his dad has like NBA experience. If you guys don't know who Jawan Howard is, is like he used to play in the NBA. Mm-hmm. He just has ties, and like usually that's kind of how it works. Like. Like some people are gonna get that one up on you if yeah. like you know their dad did this or whatever. So yeah. it's kind of Who, who's the starting two guard for them right now? I think it, it's it's they play uh they play Cole Anthony and then Jalen Suggs at two. Oh, I forgot about Cole Anthony. Yeah, that's their point. Yeah. He's cold though, bro. Franz Wagner. Yeah, Franz Wagner's another big. Paolo. Like, they're just hoarding guards. I don't know. I don't know how. Paolo was a good pick. Paolo was a great pick. Yeah, but he's like their. That's forward. their only good pick that the Magic have had in like. Wagner. Years, bro. Oh, and Wagner, yeah. yeah but he was kind of like a sleeper pick. Wagner's g- good, but I don't know. Yeah, that's a good pick. I think yeah. no, I think he's pretty he's good. He's a good pick. Yeah. yeah. He's a good pick. But going on to the next pick, uh, it was actually OKC's pick, who they traded to, to, uh, to Dallas, Dallas uh, yeah. Derek Lively the second. You actually had texted me whenever we drafted yeah, him. Yeah, I thought. That, like, oh, that was a good pick. <laughs> I and I was watching. like, oh, yeah, well, we traded him to Dallas. Yeah. So. I, I, so I thought the Thunder had got a big, which they also they need. need. Yeah. yeah. So I, I think th- that's what a lot of, like, Thunder fans were a little upset at that pick. 
uh, because we got nah, him. Nah, Casey dog. Wallace is a dog. Nah, he's a dog. Yeah. yeah, like he's a bucket. He was again, like the the, the Magic could have drafted him. Yeah, like at the but they didn't. You yeah, know? I was like okay. But anyways, we're talking about Derek Lively. He's seven one. He's a center. Um, like I said, he's a big. That's why I texted CJ because the Thunder do need bigs. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's McDowell's All American, bro. Uh, I did a little bit of research on him because I thought he was going to the Thunder. Um, so he's a McDowell's All American. He was, you know, he was top hundred in high school. Yeah. Um, I think he went to Duke. Yeah, he right? went to Duke for a year. For sure. Yeah, Duke. I mean, Duke just turns out hoopers, bro. If yeah. you don't know, um, they're they're a basketball factory for sure. So yeah, just going to Duke already automatically puts you in the first round. I feel like if go you Tar just, Heels. Though. If yeah, I don't like Duke either. Go, yeah, go Bruins, honestly. But anyways, yeah. Um, Duke's a, Duke's yeah, no, Derek Lively is he's he's gonna be good. I think the Mavericks they probably they also need. need a big two. Yeah, that's what they needed. Um, so that's why and, I think and they it was that trade. it was smart for them because we they actually traded to the Thunder. For Davis Bertans as well, so that mm-hmm. salary Get cap off that, con- that they that shed off, and crap, honestly, contract. I think it was it's it's a decent like pickup for the Thunder because that is a big that can spread the floor. So I mean, that's really what we're missing. Like, yeah, Bertans can he, he, he got he, a strap. Yeah, he got that thing on him. Yeah. I mean, he hasn't been that good in the past couple years, but like that, he's dang. has the potential. I think. I mean, obviously in Washington they didn't have a. A shade there to nah. kind of space the floor, like spread, yeah, it, spread out. it out, and kind of give yeah. them on the spots. But uh, so they, I think that was like a twenty mil contract that they yeah, gave it, to us, and then obviously we got the tenth pick. But um, yeah, the the Mavs ended up getting Derek everybody. Lively, and I think it was a good pickup because it was good for them to trade down. Mm-hmm. Like if they would have drafted that at tenth, that would have been like yeah, a they bad. got off the Bertans contract. Yeah. They got Luca another big. Yeah. No, no problem. No, yeah, yeah. Honestly, like, that's why I was I like, was okay, solid, yeah, no yeah, no problem. Yeah, and no problem. Actually, going on to the next pick. 13th, the Toronto I liked, Raptors. I liked this Grady one, dude. Dick. I liked this one. I think that was a good pick Grady for them. Dick, if y'all do, I we know about Grady yeah, know Dick about a little bit. So he, he's from Kansas, bro, 6'8". He's probably the best shooter yeah. available. Best shooter. Um, probably like, in the draft. Yeah, I'm about to say in the draft. And again, Magic could have picked him. Yeah, don't a know lot why. of people could have picked him. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't really know why. But the Raptors, I really like this pick for the Raptors. I did not think they were going to pick him. Really? And it shocked me. Like, oh, like you pick, they picked Grady Dick, and they they need somebody like that. They need yeah. somebody who can just sit in the corner, shoot threes, and like, who's yeah. big. who And he's actually athletic. Like, he can yeah. dunk on you. Yeah. You know, like, he's got sneaky bounce. Yeah. Um. Again, he went to Kansas, so a lot of the, a lot of kids over there. I think there, he was their, their highest rated player to go to Kansas. Yeah, bro. Which is um, kind of crazy to think. He's a dog. Like he's uh he's a dog. Like he, he he takes no prisoners. He plays with like a a kill you mentality. Um, but yeah, but Grady Dick is a good pick, especially yeah. at thirteen for the Raptors. Yeah. I think he's gonna fit really well. Yeah, that this was, is one of the better picks of the, the lottery. Yeah, that, I would say that was like a like a solid like eight. Yeah, but it's yeah, it like eight or especially nine. Especially at dude. the at the position they were at. So mm-hmm. yeah, and I thought pick. the Raptors were gonna screw themselves in the draft this year, but they didn't. Like, really? Yeah, I thought they were just gonna mess up and pick somebody they didn't really like didn't need. Yeah, they didn't. Well, that wasn't like. A good, a good fit, fit and best available. Yeah. And this was both. Yeah. Like, so I was like, yeah, and, oh. they, and they have like a lot of good young talent as well. Yeah. So I like, just, I guess I didn't think that their development team would do their job. Really? Yeah. I just don't have faith in the Raptors. Like, I think they, they only got, they only got the championship because of Kawhi. They don't really have like, in case y'all don't know, they haven't ever really been like, I mean, that. I think I think that that team was just good though. Like, yeah, they were and, good, as bro. A team. They were good. They were definitely good. Like they had like a Baca and yeah, shit. Like, had, well, like, <laughs> obviously he wasn't like from there, but I think they had Van Vliet. They had yeah. Ananobi. They had like they had the players that were there for a minute. Lowry, Lowry, yeah, for like, sure. They they developed pretty well, I think. On they them yeah, the Ra- this player. The Raptors are an interesting team, but yeah, them them getting Grady Dick. That's yeah, that was a solid pick. I liked that a lot. Same. And then the last pick of Lotto. or the the lottery, yeah, uh, Jordan Hawkins. Mm-hmm. I think that this was a great pick. If you didn't know, Jordan Hawkins actually won the NCAA championship with mm-hmm. the University of Kentucky. Um, he was yeah. Oh yeah, fuck Connecticut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You, yeah. But yeah, yeah, I got yeah. you. I got you. Three you know, man, you know. Man. But yeah, no. Uh, he um, he kind of had like a not a breakout year this year, but he averaged twenty points. Uh, Kinda. Shit, hold up. Oh, that's high school. I'm dumb. Uh, I think it was like six or it's like it's ten. like sixteen, seventeen, something. Where are these? It was a. It was like he was hooping, bro, and it wasn't like this. Yeah, sixteen point two. Yeah, I, I about to say he was last getting year, to it. He it was like nine yeah, or something. Like, so he made a big jump. Yeah, and he's just like a big guard that could. I think they were comparing him to like Ray Allen. 
Yeah, bro. Like that type of shooting. He's, yeah, he's like, he's he's. I think he's the second best shooter. Yeah, like behind Grady Dick. Probably. And like that's it's crazy that they went. They back went to right. That, back. Like I think it was. I think what happened is uh. Not the, well, the Pelicans, this is a good fit, but I think they 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 needed shooting and they hit the panic button a little bit on it because so oh, they were like, like we oh, wanted we needed, yeah, we needed, we needed somebody who could shoot. Yeah. And so they, they got the guard. Yeah. But no, I think that's a great pickup. I mean, especially for the Pelicans right now, they're just in a weird situation. Zahn can't really stay healthy for a whole season. And then everybody else on the team is just kind of McCollum's In and out. there. B.I.'s. B- B.I.'s. Probably the, their best player. Herb yeah. Jones. I like Herb, Cole, Herbie. Yeah. like and, the, and they were missing kind of another offense. Like, maybe yeah. for that, they'll probably have him coming off the bench for a little bit as well. I mean, like, C.J. McCollum. And then uh, who's their point guard? Um, Jose. Is that who? And they got, I mean, really, they, they make C.J. initiate. Really? Yeah. They So they put, they do, they go like this. This is their lineup. CJ, uh, Herbie, In- Ingram, and then Zion when he's healthy, and then jo- Joe Val. What about when Zion? What, when Zion's, Zion's not, not I think they put Jose in there. Really? And just yeah, like, small like ball? they just got small ball. Okay, yeah. So I mean, another any any firepower. That's why I think they got him. Yeah, it's because like another, yeah, it's for like another. I think another, he's like what six four. Yeah, he's like a bigger guard. Yeah, six four. Because they were they were lacking in guard depth. Yeah, so. so I think that was a solid pick for them. That's crazy. We just went through like the Pelicans lineup. That's why Zion needs to be healthy because yeah. when he's healthy, they have like that, that's a perfect like team that lineup them. right there. Like is pretty good and and Jonas Valanciunas I'd say oh, yeah, is underrated. Valanciunas, yeah, that's right. Like he's underrated for yeah, sure. Yeah, he's, he's cold for sure. Hell but yeah, yeah, that 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 kind of wraps up the lottery. Yeah. Um, and then now yeah, we could get into the. The good stuff. The good stuff. The yeah. off season moves, the woge bombs. Yeah. The, this I, and the I wanna so sometimes in between the week things are going to like we might say this player is playing for this team. Oh yeah. And then like on the next time we're recording, they got traded like in between the week. Yeah. Which is kinda annoying. It happens, yeah, Sally, because we only we only yeah, come like once a week for so sure. It's, hard for it's us tough. To, yeah. So so sorry, sorry for that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, we'll kind of, we, we'll kind of start it off. Like, I mean, we'll get into it. Like, I think we were kind of talking about it earlier with Scoot, but yeah. I think they thought, or I, th- I think people thought that the Blazers were going to, uh, trade Lillard on draft yeah. night and that didn't happen. Yeah. Are you, are you surprised by that? Like, I would not trade Damian Lillard if I was the Blazers, bro. Um, I would not. I'm not yeah. surprised. I would trade no. Scoot. I would trade yeah. Scoot. Yeah. I don't, I don't understand. Like, I would have traded the, the, the pick. The reasoning yeah, I put in the notes what Sai said. Like, I don't know why people thought that that was ever going to happen. Yeah. Oh, yeah, shit right there. Yeah, I was like, I felt like this was obvious because I know some people. Like, unless you're going to get maximum value, yeah. which is another all-star who's younger, yeah. and you're not trading Damian yeah. Lillard. Yeah. Like, or if you he's, get, like, a ridiculous He's still in his prime, bro. Like five, five yeah, he's still in his prime. Like, he's still like, right, he's yeah, still an all-star. A, like, yeah. He's still super he valuable. Still get really busy. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. To start that off, because we were talking, kind of talking about the draft and how those like intertwine. It's like I don't think they were gonna ever trade Lillard. It was no. always gonna be Scoot or that draft pick. That draft pick. And yeah. then like it just didn't happen. So they, now they got they got three guards. Or it hasn't happened yet. We haven't seen anything. Yeah. Um. But like I think people were thinking that the Blazers were gonna do that, and I was like, Nah, they're nah. not gonna trade Lillard because yeah. he's been there forever and he's all they he's have. He's their goat. Yeah, bro. bro. He's their goat. Essentially, you know, it's kind of funny how like, like you you take this young kid who hasn't played a game in the NBA and like you kind of ask him like, oh, like, you know, do you want to be on the Blazers? Like, what do you think about the Damian Lillard situation? Like, those are the first questions that he has to deal with because like they're like, oh, are you going to replace him or something? And it's like, nah, bro, like the Blazers, the Blazers are going to keep like D-Lil for sure. Um, Just had to get that off the out the way. What if Um, they didn't, though? Um, if they didn't, it would be like I said for maximum value. Like they would either get a bunch, they would get a huge haul, like four first round picks, an all star, like, yeah, and that makes it would sense. Be something like like that, it would make right? sense. Okay, it would make yeah. sense. Like it would be something where we'd all be like, okay, okay that's yeah. understandable. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, which is fine. Like fine. if if that's what it comes to, then you know the Blazers will do that deal. But I don't. I still don't even see that happening. Nah. If you want to kind of talk about that big one with the Celtics, because I hate talking about the Celtics. Okay. So yeah, so doing this shit. the Celtics actually picked up Kristaps Porzingis. Uh, had a crazy. He had a shit. I would say a fucking breakout year mm-hmm. in in Washington. I mean, if you kind of keep up with hoops, then you would know. But I mean, a casual isn't gonna be keeping up with Washington just because yeah, they're Washington. They're, they're you know, garbage. they're kind of buns. But yeah, I think 
Shit, I'll look up his stats. Right There's a few things that have happened with Washington since we spoke. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. yeah, I guess so we can talk about... We'll talk about it all. Yeah, kind of. all at once. Uh, they also picked up Chris Paul from the Suns because mm-hmm. they traded for Bradley Bill. Mm-hmm. And they got... Oh, I think we talked about it earlier, like four yeah, the last first episode. round uh, and sham it. swaps. Sham it. Pretty much just young... Like they're they're rebuild mode now, right? So they're kind of just and trying that's to good empty. for the wizards. Yeah, bro. it's great for the wizards because I mean that's that's they need to do they it. needed <laughs> to do that. I mean that Bradley Bill contract was it's ridiculous horrible. So, with the no trade clause. Yeah, like. ridiculous. But they got uh they got him, <laughs> uh but ended up trading him the next day and got Jordan Poole. Mm. So, CP three that is yeah CP three CP three, and then so he's um, on the Warriors now, dude. <laughs> that literally all happened like within like. Like a day. I think that's gonna be cool, kind of. If that actually. Well, yeah. What do you who, who, like? If CP 3s on the Warriors, that'll be cool. Because it's like, oh yeah, CP three. They might buy him out. Oh, no. Yeah, they might, but I feel like they could still use them, especially on their bench. Um, but yeah, like like what CJ was kind of talking about, like this. There's the basically the Wizards, the Celtics, the Suns, and then the Warriors were intertwined in this little deal for like two weeks. Uh, the Celtics were trying to get Kristaps Porzingis. They ended up getting him, which I think is awesome I think like, for their pick. roster. Like they need that. Uh, he's a stretch four, four slash five. five yeah. He's a good defender. Um, I think that's what was, they were missing. Yeah, they dude, don't really have a twenty eight. Rob will. Yeah, I'm about to say they don't. Yeah, exactly. Like their roster needed another player like that. Yeah, he and averaged then, twenty and eight. I'd say the Wizards are happy too, man. A bunch of like either expiring contracts, picks, or young players. Jordan Poole is a great player when mm-hmm. he has no reins on him. Yeah. I think he's going to be free from stress in Washington, which is going to be awesome. Yeah, I was going to say, I think this him kind of resetting and going to the yeah, team is what he needed. Be, yeah, dude, like, for sure. With that whole drama. And then CP3 might get a chance to compete for a title. Shit, he actually averaged 23 and 8 this past year. Yeah, season. I was about to say, it was higher than that. On. For, Borderline fifty forty nine. But I say he he was uber efficient. Yeah, so like that's Christa, exciting. That's yeah. that's what they need. They yeah, Kristaps is good. Dude. You know, he, he's a good defender as well. He's just a big body that can mm-hmm. kind of fill in the paint for the Celtics, and that's what what they're missing. So. He's actually one of the fewer players in the NBA who's like really tall, who's had success. Like yeah, even though he's been hurt. I'd say Chris so. Stapp's been pretty successful in his career. Yeah. Um, but point is, is like, it's interesting how these teams are all, they all kind of look different now. Like the Wizards are just full rebuild. Like I'd say Jordan Poole is their guy, right? Mm-hmm. Like they don't have anybody else. Yeah. I'd say like yeah. J- JP's the guy, which JP is cool because he's going to put up, you know, 30 or yeah. 28 yeah, a um, game. Yeah, I think. On the volume? The, on the volume? The volume? Yeah, like just bro. because it'll, they don't have It'll drag else. you there. Like, I already know he's going to shoot 25 times and all that stuff. So, yeah. we'll see. And then CP3 on the Warriors and then KP on the Celtics. So Yeah. Yeah, pretty much Washington mm-hmm. got rid of their three best players. For I sure. I mean, I guess, do they still have Kuzma, right? Yeah. Oh, Kuz. So, like, Kuzma, Kuzma's there. Definitely Kuz. Yeah, he's probably their best player. I, but I was, ah, would you say Kuz is better than Jordan Poole? I would. That's up for debate, I think, bro. I think, jo- I think, I think, Poole, I think Poole just, think about it. Think Poole just has a bag. I think Poole just had better games. Yeah, you're right. Poole system. just has a bag. Like, like he, he has more like flashy the, highlights. He's like the oh, he's cold. Like he can cook. Right, but like he ain't really like yeah. Kuzma's not. He's doing the pass then no look. Right, but yeah. he's probably yeah. average. Like he probably averaged a lot this year, honestly. Like yeah. So I I think he's a, a more complete player. But makes sense. But yeah, Jordan yeah. Poole there is gonna make him better, right. obviously. Of course, like, yeah. Because okay. I don't think he's really. Like he didn't really. Bill was kind of just you know. Yeah. Then we had one last trade. Yeah. And it was uh, it happened today actually. Um, yes. It was the John Collins trade. I think he got he, traded to Utah. Utah. And they traded I think to the Hawks. What was it like second round picks and Rudy Gay and Rudy Gay who who like who, like it's just been around. He's just been there and the Jazz <laughs> just kind of yeah. I think he played on the Raptors. He played a while on the Raptors. Ago. Yeah. He's just been around. Rudy Gay is cold, but. Not anymore. Yeah, so he got drafted in like oh six, bro. Yeah, like, he's just been used, used as a yeah. trade piece. Yeah. And, um, the Hawks are, oh, yeah, I don't know. What are they doing? I don't know what they're doing because I don't know how Rudy Gay helps you. Like John Collins is better than Rudy Gay, younger. Yeah. And again, the Jazz have so many expendable second round picks that it costs nothing to get that. So they just got a younger piece, gonna be confident. Uh, in a new spot, I think you know the, the Jazz definitely won that. And they trade. drafted that good. Yeah, bro. Like the, the Jazz are winning yeah. for sure. Interesting. Yeah. But yeah, I, I think we can just hop right in, right? Like, yeah. 
I so I kind of wanted to talk about something. I think it's it's, it's an interesting question. And I'm sure the GMs go through it like when they're doing the draft process. Um, but I was kind of talking to CJ last week about this question. I think it's really important to think about whenever you're, especially doing the NBA draft, but just thinking about prospects in general. Mm-hmm. Um, so, do you take best fit or do you take best available? That's the question. And I kind of wanted to talk about that and have that be a little segment um, and see what you, you what you guys think about that. So I think it's based off of what you have. So On your roster? On your roster. Okay. Let's say I'm the Thunder. I have the third pick. Brandon Miller goes second. I'm going to be honest. I don't even know if, like, at that point. Like, we probably would take Scoop, but, like, like he would be... Like he wouldn't be the starting guard. I got you. Type shit. He'll. So you think it's kind of based like it, on just the on, on the, the structure of the team? Yeah. Yeah. Like I, obviously, I'm not gonna have. Like for me personally, I wouldn't want to take if if my best player is a point guard and the best available is a point guard. I might have to skip that and try to fill another hole because like. Well, what if your point guard's six six? It, like like Shea. Yeah. And like, like you, you, you can't like play six the two. Yeah. Like. That's what I mean. Like, it's, they're it's both just, point guards, yeah. but but basketball's positionless now. It is, but I feel like it isn't at the same. Yeah, time. like I mean, like, I feel like that's we, a whole other conversation. We, but we, yeah, we try yeah. to say it, it is it, it positionless, is. but it like really. I haven't isn't. heard that take. That's a good take because like it like there it's in it's the not fact, always positionless. Yeah, yeah like yeah. realistically, you got you got to be honest with yourself. Like, okay. not everyone could be the point guard. Yeah, not everyone True. could be a guard. Like maybe with, Bradley Beal shouldn't be bringing the ball up every right. time. Yeah. Not every yeah, time. I got you. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like especially even though he could, he could. But like, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. that's why the whole scoot to Portland was like a weird thing for me. Like, because it's interesting. You your best player is the point guard, and now you have a franchise player or like cornerstone that you're hoping. Okay. Be being a point guard. How is that gonna mesh? Uh, right. Who's Why gonna be you, that yeah. dude? Or like, only one person can be that dude, realistically. But let's say like Tim Duncan was still playing for the Spurs, right? And he was still like prime Tim Duncan. Yeah. And Wembenyama, and they got they had the first pick. They're both centers, right? Yeah. But the Spurs. But it's kind of different with guards. I feel like. So like, I feel like bigs can coexist together more than guards. Yeah. Okay, so exactly. okay, so I think. Oh man, so so I'm going in what I think kind yeah. of on it. So you're kind of changing the way I see it okay. now a little bit, but I'm more of I take best available, bro. Like I don't care if I have Damian Lillard and best and the the person who's the best available is a point guard. Like oh, I'm okay. I'm going to take right, them. Right. It's the NBA, okay? Like the NBA <laughs> works the way that the NBA works nowadays. If you don't really know, like. It's dominated by like superstars and then like everybody else. Yeah. Like you need stars to be really good um, to win an NBA finals. You can't win without a superstar. Yeah. It's not how the NBA works. Um, you'll never ever see a team go to the NBA finals without a superstar. I guarantee it. Mm-hmm. Um, but with, with saying that, if you have superstars that are relatively the same position, like there's no problem with that. If you ended up having Damian Lillard and Scoot Anderson on the same time, you know, same court, whatever relatively sharing ball like ball handling duties whatever like i don't see necessarily a problem with that i just think like if you take the best available you're not losing because you're getting the best player anyways so like you know that they're gonna be good at what they're good at if that makes sense I agree like with if, what you're saying actually, okay yeah. so you know, that makes more but sense I, i'm starting to realize i think there's like multiple i think that's what makes but, drafting yeah, so hard yeah. is there's multiple ways yeah that. it's like multiple ways to look at it because yeah. like yes i could say that but then when scoot gets here i'm looking at him I'm like oh so you can't play the two now what am i what am i gonna do right like, you, you know what i mean the bench, yeah like, exactly no, like, like, like so i think cj brings up a good point with like how i think it determines like you know how the roster is constructed, yeah. I think that kind of determines how you're going to look at like the draft or like a prospect kind of like, oh, is he a good fit or like, is he just what we need? Is he the best available yeah. player? Because I think some teams are so also like player hungry, like they just want capital and like they just want to invest in something that's going to return. Yeah. So like they want to make sure that they get a, an all star. They want to make sure that they yeah. get a, like a future whatever. That's all that some teams care about. They exactly. Don't care. I mean, I mean, not trying to shit on like Houston, but like that's kind of what they were up to this point. Like they had Jalen Green, they had Jabari. Yeah, like they're trying to draft they like they're trying to draft like the Uber next athlete, yeah, right? like just exciting players. Mm-hmm. Which like yeah, y'all are, but y'all aren't winning. So. Exactly, right. and I feel like there's some people that care about just 
like, oh, I want to watch a team that, like, is exciting, and, oh, I want to watch a team that can win, like, difference, like, the the Lakers aren't just going to want to draft uh, an exciting player. They want right. a player that can contribute to this team right, right now. So exactly, Ron their chip. Exactly, yeah. you know, he's so playing it's, like fundamental basketball. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah. Just go out there, like do. Austin Reeves. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, exactly. Like, like that. that. That can kind of step like into Roy. his role. Right. Yeah, exactly. Like so. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I understand where you come from too. Like, but I think I just been. I've kind of seen this league is ran by stars, but not. Besides the Warriors, not multiple stars. Have and it's not always positionless. Then. Right. Yeah. Like, I mean, KD joining the Warriors is probably the biggest superstar. Like, Tandem. To, yeah, yeah. To win in a while. If For sure. Honest. Yeah. I mean, and, true, and, yeah. and like KD has been building these teams for the past couple of years. It impacts chemistry 100%. Like it, if you it, have a bunch of ball dominant like superstars. This, this is like yeah. like one of those things in 2K like that. Like, oh, you can just draft all this talent and you could probably win but like in real life in game that's not how it works yeah it's it's, it's like all right how are we gonna play together like though y'all, y'all are relying on this guard when i'm supposed to be your best it's it's deeper than just talent. yeah like yeah. that's why like i personally think a fit is probably more smart if a team is trying to win interesting but if you're just trying to like if you're like the the magic or if you're like the the Pistons, who yeah. are just kind of building together. Like, I mean, Pistons, obviously, this is like their third year in a row where they're like a top five pick. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. They just got talent good. to build to get to the point where it's like, oh, we're missing a good defender that can kind of oh, m- we need this. gel yeah. everything together. This is him. But we had to be shitty for the past two years to get to this point. 100%. We got the number one pick, and I think we got what Jaden Ivey was like a fourth pick. Interesting. Pick. What, so yeah. like they're seeing like the long term. Yeah, like they're the, kind of investing the into these the young players game. that are exciting, right. knowing they're not going to win. Right. Or what's his name? Uh, Jalen or Duran? Or oh, uh, J- uh, yeah, Jalen Duran. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jalen Duran. Yeah, like that's a good yeah. pick, bro. Yeah. And like, but it's like he's he, young as shit. Yeah, they're just like young, exciting right now. So for they're sure. trying to build an identity. Yeah, for sure. But I want to see what these guys think. What yeah, you what think, think, Los? Like, would you, you take him best available, bro, or better fit? I would normally take better fit, but I do agree sometimes in the NBA, you got to just take best available. <laughs> yeah, right? bro. Um, yeah. I just think. <laughs> in terms of it, but it depends the situation. Yeah. For example, I think in terms of the Dame situation, yeah. it really you don't really take best. I mean, in that draft, I can get it because it's Scoot Henderson. Like you can't pass up on Scoot Henderson. So it's if like, they would have, then Houston would have picked him up, and that exactly. should have been yeah. a shit show. But I right. think they, what they should have done is maybe like they should have probably tr- tried to trade him. Yeah, like, yeah, or I agree. do like a two value, three trade. Yeah, they probably because. If they took Scoot and they they want to trade him to Charlotte, Charlotte would have made that trade, and then you put a, put a big man to pair up with Dame. That's kind of like what that's they, what you what you all need. That's y'all probably need to... what Dame thought they should have done. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I can see it go both ways. Like again, though, like you're not gonna pass up on the value of taking Scoot because the return on your investment is worth it. Yeah. Like even if he ends up being a point slash two guard, like whatever the case may be, and you also have Lillard, like right. so be it. But so I mean, I think I, in a lot of other things you do take best available, and in a lot of other sports you do also take best available. Yeah, like instead of position. Yeah, I feel like in soccer you always take best available. But what if in soccer, in sp- like what CJ was saying was like, sometimes. what if your superstar player is already a point guard? Over, I feel like sometimes you gotta kind of like switch shit up too. Like you can't just go with whatever. Like so, like you think the Warriors could draft a point guard and that'd be fine. Like if they I feel like no, no cuz he's not going to start. Yeah, like not like What's the point draft. of drafting someone if they're not going to contribute to your team? Well, the Warriors could have had LaMelo Ball. Yeah, I know. Remember that? I do remember so like that. what if they got him? You don't think he would start? LaMelo would have played the two ball. They would have moved Clay to the three. The, I, but that's what I mean. Like they would, they would like they would have been like they just would have moved. The, they would have just moved the wa- they roster just, around. Yeah. They, so they like, drafted for fit. No, okay, so that's and they that's won what, a chip. Yeah, so yeah. I think. I mean, replace, I'm sticking to I don't my know. guns, bro. I'm not. I don't think him yeah. Lamelo going there would have like. I don't think it would have hurt. Thing, yeah, I would have said they would have won a championship. Who did the Warriors really? take with that pick? Like Kaminga or something. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't sense. think so either, man. though. Like, I don't think it would have made any like major. He wouldn't have really like what 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 was what what would he have? Lamelo brought? would be doing what Jordan Poole was doing mm. in a way, just more ball, more like ball movement. I'm just saying, like more of like if you have that on your team, 
right? Like if, if the Warriors were to have LaMelo Ball, like if you gave them LaMelo Ball today, they're going to be like, bet. Like, let's use that. Like, yeah. this kid's going to oh, be... Yeah. Like, that's what I mean. Yeah. So, like, if, if you took... Literally, if you got... If you knew... And they didn't know on draft night, obviously. But let's say, like, LaMelo Ball was going to turn into LaMelo Ball and the Warriors had him. Like, I don't think the Warriors would ever care about fit. It's just he's that good. Let's put him in the game. Right. Yeah. You know, like, they don't care if he fits with, like... Like, they're going to make it fit. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're going to make... I feel like, well, I feel like they do care because that's why they didn't draft him, though. They didn't draft him probably because Lonzo hasn't been as good as he was hyped to be. Nah, they took the Wiseman thing. like he's right. Like no, CJ's right. They went for fit, bro. Yeah, they, they took like, Wiseman. I don't even like, think they could have picked Lamelo. They could have definitely yeah, picked Lamelo. Yeah, yeah, they the could have. Yeah, they had the second like, pick. They definitely. It was they Wiseman. Did yeah, it him, was. Then they would have used him, but they picked. For they picked fit. some. Yeah, they yeah, picked so. some. But this is the thing. Where's James Wiseman on the Pistons? Yeah. So if you picked for fit and you decided to invest in this young player, he didn't really contribute to your championship team. Yeah. Yep. That's what I'm confused. So you should have taken actually best available. Like you should have taken Lamelo. Yeah. I don't know. But bro. I don't know. I mean, like I could shit, be wrong. They they want a chip, so I can't really say. Yeah, anything. of course. That's that. that's the thing. Like winning yeah, always yeah, trumps. Yeah, 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 bro. Like winning trumps, trumps everything. All. They, that's that's that's, they, that's they, the thing they, that bothers me with the Warriors. I can't say win. shit about. Yeah, I can't yeah. say shit about. Like we, I don't know because the Warriors won championships. Yeah. Like I can't. Say, I understand what you're saying though. Yeah, Lamelo like, you know was I mean? a great player, but it makes sense. Like I just don't think they did go for fit though. They went for fit, and that's what that's the questions. Yeah, like Steph Curry is going to be your main ball handler. What's Lamelo going to do? And this was three years ago too. Like this was when he was still. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like, shit, he's probably better now. Yeah, but so, honestly, like, honestly, I don't know. Like, it just for me, it's development and growth for a player. Yeah, yeah. you're gonna be behind Steph, but like, you're gonna forever be in his shadow. Yeah, I feel like that's what they yeah. like thing with. Like, like, he wouldn't have been Lamelo Ball yeah. unless he went to the Hornets. Yeah, right. like, you can't like, shine. You be able to be you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you and that matters. Ah, that, okay. Like, yeah. I didn't think about it like that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I that, feel like that, that. that that's something like a lot of teams have to think about. Like Yeah, like, like where the a player can go to be them. Yeah. And not have to worry if, about if like Lamello a superstar. Came here, he would essentially just be like uh probably just like a passing. Yeah, like Curry's like, honestly, little bro, like, dummy. If, if he did go, say he did go to the Warriors, like he probably would play like so different. He probably yeah. wouldn't even have like the same confidence, honestly. Yeah. He yeah, might like, be just could, a Jordan or Poole. Or he could have that confidence, but like at the same time, well, I, like... I think it was interesting because the reason I bring the Lamelo up, and it's such a good example, like literally this is such a perfect example. This is why I'm talking about it. Like Lamelo, when he was a draft prospect, he was good at shooting passing he was creative off the dribble i thought that's what the warriors were looking for yeah and he was six nine or six eight yeah and still growing yeah so i thought the warriors were just going to be like screw it we're going to take the best available and see what happens but they didn't and like that's kind of what like he went to the hornets and what size talking about he's now able to be the lamello like he's get triple doubles he's doing all the crazy fight like he wouldn't have been that on the warriors probably because that's not what steve kerr steve kerr doesn't yeah Yeah. steve kerr doesn't yeah there's more of a system like you're gonna dribble pass i like 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 that comp bro like he might just be a jordan pool for real yeah yeah yeah. like somebody who's just flashy who's yeah that's 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 coming off the bench as like a fucking like like a, a yeah. human torch coming off. That's the why bench. I think this like, question's so like it, that. I respect GMs. Yeah, bro. You know, I respect like, GMs because it, it's hard. Because it yeah. depends what you value. Like like you said, if you're just trying to draft the best available, but it doesn't re- literally match with where your team's where at, I'm going. Yeah, then like yeah, it may go not for be it. yeah because yeah. you have no direction. But if you're a contending team, you're gonna probably draft the fit. With the right. fit for being honest, like okay, you you already have one or two, maybe even three players that you're comfortable with. You're not going to get another center if you have a Jokic. Uh, oh, okay. So I, I think I, I pick up what you're putting down. Like, if you're reaching, I guess if you're drafting best available all the time, you're going to miss. Yeah. Right. But if you're taking fit, like, you're going to, like, for example, like with the Nuggets, they took fit with Jokic. Yeah. And, like, that's what it is. That's kind of what it is. Yeah. yeah like, like, because, like, how are you going to. It's lucky, but it's, yeah, it was fit. Like, how are you going to, like, build a championship? like team if you're not like building chemistry with each right. other and you're just well i think with Jokic, i don't know if we put him into that because i feel like we should talk about that more with like lottery picks because in a lottery pick would you take the best that's kind of that most that is usually where also you're that's just good scouting really on the nuggets part when you draft yeah. later in the draft i think it's more well i'd argue in the draft is kind of different i'd argue that like there's still players in the back end of the drafts that like 
are should Imani Bates win? I was about like to say like like there's like certain picks you can make that definitely still Ooh, have totally that. yes. But I see what you're saying like the but lottery. Like Jokic was on that level. Yeah, like, like he's nah. on like a back like, half of second round. You're not nah, looking best yeah. available. You're not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're scouting. Like what yeah. Los is saying, like you're you are going to your scouts who've done deep well, he's research not a for that, like was um, yeah. projected high that just fell really low. Right. Yeah. Like I think the Brunson player. pick they picked, good. like the Mavericks picked with I think it was like not really they they picked for a fit, right? And like it's crazy to see where he went. He, he's obviously Jalen Brunson that we know now, yep. but like it's interesting that the Mavericks picked a fit and it was a good one and they ruined it. Yeah. So it's it's crazy yeah. they thought they like sold, they yeah. wanted so, they wanted best available and they got Kyrie, yeah. but like they could have. They could have just taken somebody who was like homegrown. Normally, you drafted in the second round. It was free, and like, you yeah, know. Mass fans are probably hating themselves. Yeah, for that. that's but, but that's that. why I bring up the question because I think it's interesting, bro. And like, it's it's like definitely something you have to think about, and like it depends on the player, obviously. Yeah, but like hindsight's always twenty twenty. But for I've sure. always, I always go back. I think the Lamelo Ball example is so interesting. Like the James Wiseman, the the Warriors definitely could have picked him, and like. I probably would have, like, if I was a G, if I was Bob Myers, I would have been like, we're picking Lamelo, like he's a six nine guard. We can put him at the three. He's saucy. He, he's he's gonna bring. You play him a lot of places. Yeah. He's he's gonna bring jersey sales. He's good for business. Like James Wiseman was, you know, I think he played half a year at Memphis. Was a seven one center who was like, eh. but I don't know. The, that that was one of those. I feel like they probably should have traded that. The pick, pick, yeah, traded down because they probably could have sure. drafted Wiseman at it like a five or sure. like a, even a ten, you know. So yeah. yeah, it is what it is. I mean, it, like you said, hindsight's twenty twenty, but at yeah. the end of the day, they won another chip since then. Mm -hmm. No, it makes sense. I don't know. Can't makes can't sense. be mad at the pick if it if like, it hits. If, even if that pick didn't give you success, like your team is yeah still yeah successful, it's, it's still so. successful. Yeah, I can't can't be mad. I mean, like I understand I understand where you're coming from because this league is driven by stars. But I feel like it's slowly getting to the point where like stars can only get you role so players. Right. Role players yeah. are Bruce like, Brown. Bruce right. Brown. Right. <laughs> like playing Dwayne Austin Aaron Gordon. Reeves, Aaron Gordon. I don't yeah. know because you saw in the finals. I don't know how much Gabe Vincent and Max Cruz. Well, that was the true. thing. I don't think but those guys. Yeah, yeah, no yeah offense, that's but. the thing. Like, but like, I don't think those guys. Like, I think next time they'll be ready. Uh, true. Like, yeah. I, I just think that yeah. it was to right. what they were well, doing. They're all young right. too. Yeah, they were all Being, I, I, in Colorado and shit. Like, yeah, it's oh, yeah, the Colorado, elevation. It's the elevation change. But like what CJ's saying, the role players are like honestly now more than ever probably yeah, more important. important. I think yeah. just because the league is just getting so talented. Yeah, like it went from being. 2010s like LeBron could take his team the, those Cavs teams to the finals like yeah if he was like now in the league I don't think he could like he could potentially bro. he'll probably make like a top four seed but I don't think he bro would that, make it that was why the athletic made the list 125 bro yeah not like 100 yeah because there's so many there's like just you're so saying many like there's so many players that and it's true like all these guys are super mega talented and they're just getting to it it's kind of crazy there's like I think there's like hella players that be averaging 20 every year now yeah like at least 20 20, and that's a lot. That is a lot. It's a lot of buckets, but um, a lot of like buckets. Like you said, like honestly, like with the like with the Rockets, how they have like all these All Star players on a team. It's like no one has like a specific role. Like yeah. no one's actually like able to be like. Okay, they took I'm best available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like, that. That's for me why like best available isn't always the best thing right. because. They did that and they look like this. They, right. like, yeah. and they, then, they look like an AAU team. Right. Yeah. You're getting buckets. Yeah. I mean, like, it you're looks, exciting. It, it looks soft. It's cool. It looks good, but you're not you're not winning you're not games. Winning games. That's yeah, why yeah, they yeah. Right. I feel like that's why Eme coming in. No, for sure. They right. need they're missing a veteran. They need someone to yeah, kind of show them exactly. that like this is what we gotta do to win. Like I that's think what they need. I think they can win with their roster. It's just like so? like I think so. I agree too. Like I think they can win with who they have. They just need discipline and like yeah. I said, the West like, is hard too. It's, yeah, it's, it's just it's a yeah. yeah. The West is just gross. It's a blood fest. Like, like I don't I don't really know how if I was in the NBA if I was playing in the West like I would be like fuck bro like like because you have to play like the Nuggets and the Warriors and then like you have to worry about all these teams like that aren't even the Eastern Conference teams, and then, like, you got to worry about the Heat and then the Celtics and then the Sears. It's just, like, a nightmare yeah. in the West. It's Especially for that You got to worry about teams yeah. like the Lakers. You got to worry about, like... Yeah, like, like everybody. Like, everybody, like, 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 everybody will bite you. Like, the Kings will bite you. Just you, You'll you just lose in the West off Portland, some dumb bro. shit. Dang, yeah, like, even Portland. That's why it was, like, when they got scooed, I was like, oh, shit. Like, they might... They could be, like, a playing team. 
But I mean, they're gonna lose. They're gonna have to lose, but they're gonna have to. Really? I don't know. Dude, bro. the Blazers are nice. They have good pieces. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. That's. I mean, they took best available. So they did. We'll I'm not mad at that pick. Like, Scoot's a dog, but I don't know. I would have traded it personally. Like, I feel like, it, especially if Dame is your guy, well, y'all got. Let me ask you this: Would you have made the pick and then traded, or traded three? I would have probably traded three. And seeing what but I, I what could have well, got. Why don't you want the? Well, okay, why don't you like those two together? Like, what what is it that that? Makes, I just like, am not a mesh. big fan of two ball dominant the double guards. guards. And like, it, I'm just I've never. And really CJ and Dame. Like. I don't think it makes sense. It just doesn't. Like, it can't collide. I don't know like, how to make it make sense either. Like, I, it just doesn't make. Like, I don't see the point of having two two guards on the same team. Like, there just needs to be one, and then like there needs to be the second guard. Like. Not yeah, the star, wing player. Like, yeah, the I must wing say, it, it's not that like there can't be two right, guards that coexist because like Steph and Clay did that, right. but they aren't like Clay isn't a ball dominant guard. Yeah, he's Clay a, isn't it's a like Kyrie ball. Luka. Yeah, Kyrie, yeah I, I didn't really like the Kyrie Luka I understand. thing. Like, yeah, I, I mean maybe I, like, even Kyrie and Braun well, like that was that, that was yeah. like, but that's not two guards. Right. So, you know what I mean? That's right. a forward and a guard, like different. Like True. yeah, even like with the whole. The, the a reason why I think the the Warriors are success so successful is because they had a Draymond to kind of put it all together. It wasn't just Clay and Steph right. and bums. Right. Yeah, and that's what yeah, Portland. Yeah, yeah. No offense to y'all, but like, yeah, it, it's gonna be Dame, Scoot, and bums. bums. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Like, so I don't think that they already had that with CJ and right. Dame. So it's right. not that I don't. I don't like it because it is going to be exciting. It's just I don't. I don't. It just seems like the Blazers are y'all. Y'all are y'all are capping yourself out. Like yeah, you need to right. kind of. You could have. I think I was seeing trades like a, I know Zion was was in it because they were talking yeah. about trading it, and that that would have been cool. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like to it, give it to the Pelicans. Yeah, yeah, like I mean, it would have been a little risky, but I mean, shit, super if, risky. If if the scoop went to the Pelicans, that would be crazy. It's a better like, fit to me. It is yeah. like I yeah. feel like he would have had a lot more wild, time to yeah. shine. Like yeah, yeah, and he could be that guy there for sure. Like because they just got just moved CJ yeah. to the two, two, yeah, yeah, yeah. two B one, and it, it it would be a small yeah. backcourt, but. They they can coexist yeah. for sure. That makes and sense. they have the forwards. Like, yeah. They got bi. Yeah. And so I don't know. It just like I said, it's all like what you you what you value. Now right. I I just don't think personally like two guards, two ball dominant guards can coexist with each yeah, other. Yeah, bro. I'm watching the next like next year's draft with this question in mind. Yeah, not for I, sure. I think it'll be interesting because this is gonna because you can bombs. tell like yeah yeah bro it will be and like it, it it'll be interesting to see like kind of how teams like are thinking because yeah. you can tell. Like oh you went for best available or oh you or went you for just fit. With the fit yeah I mean yeah. that's literally what the the Hornets did yeah for sure and and yeah. you know that that pick again like the Hornets like they don't always draft well but like they've hit they've hit they hit on Lamelo like Lamello they might sure. hit on Miller I hope like, so man. yeah they they could and like that would be good for them because yeah. they would have two you know different positions and they would both be you know high high level players at their position mm. I I don't know I I still think for me Go with talent. I'm just taking talent, but I mean, like, like I, I go back to the like the Spurs example. Like, I know if they had a dominant center, even if he was an All Star, you're gonna take Wemby, yeah, and make it work. But I mean, again, bigs are different. Before. Yeah, bigs are different. It's just though, different. Man. Yeah, it's just like different. They can coexist. I mean, it's just David different. Robinson, Tim Duncan. Yeah, it's just. Literally I was about to say, it's just, other. it's just like it all. Like CJ said, I think CJ said it best. It just depends on how your roster is constructed. Because mm-hmm. if you don't have like a Somebody who's taking up a bunch of, or like somebody who's positioned, like, because realistically, like, you could play Wemby at the three, like, realistically, yeah. like, he's fluid enough to play there, but we're not going to see him play there. Because, nah. like, what CJ was saying, like, it's not positionless, actually. Yeah. Like, like he's like, going to play the four or the five. Cause yeah. Like, that's where he should be. Yeah. But, like, theoretically, you could put these guys in different places, but, like, like CJ saying, it's kind of like, it just comes down to how your roster is constructed. I think it's fit. more you have different positions now than, like, the traditional point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, center. Yeah. You more have, like, you have your point. Point forward, yeah. Yeah, you have your, you just have, you have someone running the point who's always yeah. the one running the offense. You have wing players, and you have big man, and that's yeah. pretty much it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's, it, yeah, so it is positionless in a sense, because yeah. you have, like, how we're going to get to a little yeah, later, certain, like yeah. a shooting guard that is six three, and then you have a shooting guard that's like six eight, six nine. But it's just because of their team and like their fit. Oh, like oh well, this he's not 
a good enough passer to be our our main guard, but yeah. he's our two guard. So it's like it's just, it's just makes sense. Yeah, it's just the way basketball is. Like yeah. no, for sure. Height and like there's no prototype for any player now besides yeah. like a big, I guess. But like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You want a big that's like tall, athletic, lengthy, like but point guards, forwards, like all kind of range. There's forwards yeah. that are like six six, yeah, that are big as hell, you know. But then there's like another forward like KD, seven foot. Two two hundred pounds. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? It's 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 positionless in that sense. Yeah. But there still is like you said, like a point forward or a point guard, wings, big man. Like yeah, that's, that's kind of really what it's sure. is laid out right now. But hundred. So our next our next and final segment, we are going to be ranking the top ten shooting guards of this past season, uh 2022, 2023 NBA season. Yep. Uh if you saw our last video, we actually did the point guards, go check that out. So this one, we're going to be doing shooting guards. So I guess uh, ZD and I will kind of uh, yeah, ping pong it back. And mm -hmm. the one and only Los over there will kind of add is... Start um, on honorable yeah. mentions, like always. Yeah, honorable mentions. Mm -hmm. uh, I can start off. Yeah, start too. off and then we could go back and forth. Yeah, for sure. So I'll, I'll kind of get right into it. Um, this past season, I think it was a good year for guards, bro. Yeah. Like in general, like we did point guards last episode, like CJ was talking about, and then this episode's uh, shooting guards. But yeah, just in general, a lot of good guards, bro. Um, but yeah, my honorable mentions, like the first person I have uh, in my honorable mention, bro, is uh, Desmond Bain. Oh, okay. You feel me? Okay. Um, I feel like he had a good little year with the Grizzlies. He was kind of hurt this year. Yeah. I think he had a better year two years ago. Yeah. But. Last year, you know, he was still in that conversation for sure for top 10. Okay. Um, and then next person I got in there is Jordan Poole. Okay. He's, he's one of my honorable mentions as well. Uh, he did not have a good year last year. He, he was kind of... I think the, you know, the, the shit with Draymond impacted him a lot. And like, for he's sure. a young man, bro. Like, he's a man, but he's still young. He's like 23. And that's like a lot for a 23-year-old to be going through and stuff. So I think he yeah. kind of had a tough year last year. But I still think he's in that conversation as well. And he's going to be much better on the Wizards. Yeah. Um, so he's going to be... He could be a top 10 shooting guard for sure So He could be. Um, next person I got on here is Anthony Simons. Okay. Um, in my honorable mentions, I think feel like he has to make the list. That's a good one. Uh, about to say he's an instant offense, bro. He's microwave. He, he's from the academies we were talking about earlier. Uh, in in this in you know in the, in the pod, um, he was drafted. I think from IMG. He didn't go to college as well. Yeah, you're so right. like yeah. uh, he's he's from academy, but he's he's. I think he deserves to be an honorable mention, bro. Okay. People kind of forget about Ant, but he's definitely cold for sure. So I got Anthony mm -hmm. Simons in there, and then the last person is Clay. Okay. Um, he was bouncing back from the injury. Um, but I still feel like we got to put Clay in there just because, like, he's still dangerous, bro. The one thing about Clay is, like, he doesn't have to dribble to be dangerous. And I think that always keeps him, like, up there. Because, like, if you don't have to put the ball on the floor to, like, score, I think that says a lot. So okay. I think I got to put Clay in there. Got so you, got you. All right. My honorable mentions are Tyler Harrow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sure. I mean, just the way he plays, he's kind of the um, – that driving force mm -hmm. for the Heat's um, scoring whenever. He's on my know. list. So. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, obviously. Yeah. He he was borderline for me. I'm about to say, he was yeah, my first. Uh, he's he's fringe. Yeah, bottom, I think but. for me it was just um, the players above him. Yeah. Kind of just kind of contributed a little, a little bit more. more in my eyes. But I mean, he's instant offense off that bench. Yeah. And then, did he start at a, like? He oh. started a lot this. this okay, this past season. It was right? weird. Yeah. Because yeah, so, normally he wasn't. I don't think he was a. a he didn't qualify for six man. No, because he started. Yeah, right? he was yeah, starting so many. Yeah, he, he is definitely another good form of offense for that team. I would put him as an honorable mention. Uh, another one. This one. This one's a little homer. This might be a little debatable because he might not be a two Giddy? guard. Giddy. Yeah, yeah. I I put, he was. He was close to my honorable. Mentions. Yeah, he, he's, he's in my honorable mentions. Just the way he plays. He's not flashy. He's not doing between the legs. He's so good. Yeah, man. but he's a great triple double. Like, triple double machine. Walking. Yeah. Um, had a really good year. I mean, complimenting Shea. And he's like, overseas too, right? Uh, yeah. He's cool. from Australia. Someone I might put an honorable mention or even in the top 10 if he, we can consider him a shooting guard is Colin Sexton. Uh, I, feel like, I just, feel like he's a point. I think he's a point. He's a point. I yeah. Have, some people are listening to him as a shooting guard. So that's why really? I, I was like, yeah, I see him more as a point. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even say he's the best point guard on that team, though. I, I think, think Garland's just, better. Mm -hmm. He played for the Jazz, bro. Sexton. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I'm just thinking of it more because so, he was balling he? when he was when he played in sack. He was balling. He was basically the best player on the team. Not I, a bad team. A, in but, Utah, uh, he's one of the better players on the team. Yeah, 
Like he's one of the better guards on I still, there. Is he a I two guard? He's like the fastest he, player in the league. He does he's like, a one. He he plays the one and the two. Yeah. But the Jazz are just kind of tiny. But that's a good like that's a. Good, I feel like honorable. Like, mention, that would be a good it's, honorable mention. Like I said earlier in this, it, a lot of guards, bro. Like yeah. it all makes yeah. they're, they're yeah, all they, they've all like, been good. The like last how it's season. kind of like positionless. There's yeah. a lot of players that are like, oh, is Giddy a two? Yeah, it's a lot. Like, Kyrie, is sex, I'd Kyrie, say Kyrie, I'd argue yeah. Giddy should be in my honorable mentions because yeah. he was hooping. Yeah, so, so that's a good yeah. one. Yeah, bro. and then my last one is uh Tyrese Maxey. Man, yep. he's he's in my list. So. Yeah. So yeah, I, Tyrese Max. Not much to be said about him, bro. Yeah. He's a playoff killer too. He doesn't shy away from the moment. He's not like my number 10. yeah. He's not like yeah. scary in the moment. Yeah, I, he, I just think he he kind of. I mean, he's like the third option on that team, and the players above him for me just kind of contributed a little, little bit more. more. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he's a great player though. That's why honorable for sure. mention. For sure. What about you, Los? Honorable mentions. Honorable mentions. Yeah. Um, and I can't really think of outside of the ones that I would put. On the list, okay. I would guess we were talking about you had Tyler Hero. I would say Tyler Hero. Okay. Um, but I don't think he's. I would say honorable mentions, but I don't think he's top ten yet. So that's why he would be an honorable mention. I feel like he needs a little, like one or two more seasons to really like be consistent and prove himself. Okay. I know he was injured, so like he couldn't really show yeah, that this season. Yeah, but, he was hurt this year um, a lot, dude. He had a really good rookie year, bad yeah. second year, bounced back, got six man of the year, yep. and I was having a good season, got injured. We just need to see more of him. To for really sure, hundred like, percent. I agree with it. I, I'm gonna be a tough critic just because yeah, I'm a tough critic of my own team. Yeah. So of course, you gotta be. I need right. to. Anybody else or not? Um, I can't think of anyone. I can only really think of the top ten. I feel like the the shooting guard position is kind of okay. Well, why don't, you, why don't you kick off? Yeah, kick, kick it, it off. off do number 10. Uh, ten. Just do ten. I would probably I would probably put Maxi at my ten. Oh yeah, really why? good player. <laughs> Like he can cook up playoff killer, like you said. Yeah, like, for sure. He's been a really good fit for the for the Sixers. Like he's been really helping him out. Um, plays good alongside his team. See, he's such point guard, shooting guard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah. He's good. Um, probably could pick up more assists, but it's a shooting guard, so you don't really expect them. But he's putting he's putting up good numbers. You yeah, yeah he average twenty. 20 points. Another K- Kentucky guard. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. 20 points, three rebounds, four assists yep. on 48, 43, mm-hmm. 84 Good splitting. Efficiency. Or splitting. Great efficiency. So, yeah, dude. Great, yeah. Yeah, that's somebody that's... he got that's, a bag, too. You see him play. He's yeah, nice. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he's nice. I like that. Okay. I like that one at 10. I think he deserves to be on the list for Who's sure. Who's your 10, sir? My 10 is Tyler Hero. Uh, okay. We were just talking about him. Los is... Uh, we, I mean, Los can definitely talk about T. Hero, but yeah, uh, he, he's, he's, he's that guy, bro. I think he went healthy. He's dangerous. I don't. I don't think he gets a ton of respect like he deserves. He shoots. He's really efficient when he wants to be. I know he's shooting like ninety four percent from the line this yeah. year, so he was like kind of auto from there. Um, but yeah, he six man of the year winner. Um, still young. He's still getting to it. He's still got a lot to learn. But I feel like he he deserves to make my list. I feel like he. He seems to me like he's found that that level of consistency that he's been looking for. I don't know if you can agree with that, but like a little bit. I just I feel like he needs a little bit more for me to put him on top ten. Yeah. Um. If not, he would probably be. He would probably. Be yeah. 10. He's, 10. he's ten. Yeah, for he's a reason. 10. I'm about to say he's yeah, ten yeah, for he, a reason. He's borderline but for me. He he's on my list. Yeah. He averaged sure. twenty five and four as well. Yeah. And then my ten is actually, uh, fuck. You forget? No, I didn't forget. Yeah, I forgot. Uh, Dejounte Murray. Oh. Dejounte Murray. Okay, see, I would see him as a point guard. I see him playing more DeJounte. shooting guard, so I get that. That's I, a really good pick. I would yeah, probably have. I'd probably have him at nine. Yeah, I was. So I'm also going through. I had like my top five, probably most. Or it's set, like T A E. Yeah, that Tay. Yeah, Dejounte. But he's man, yeah. all defensive team. Uh, which it was, I'm gonna say he's probably one of the better shooting guard defenders. Yeah, I would say he's a great like two way player. He he averaged twenty five six uh forty six thirty four eighty three uh. Splits. Uh, splits. Yeah. yeah. And then um, I mean, this is his first season with uh Trey. So he I think he he's what Trey needs. He just needs yeah. to work on his shot. Mm-hmm. But I think as a, a, a two guard next to an elite, this this is the fit for me. This is yeah, okay. two guards coexisting together, but they don't DeJounte doesn't need to be a ball dominant guard. Yeah. Right, right, right. Trey is a ball dominant guard. He's gonna shoot these half court shots. <laughs> DeJounte Murray's probably gonna get get the offense more going and get Get, relieve the pressure off a of tray, yeah. sure. kind of like what Brunson was for uh, Luca gotcha. last year. That's gotcha. the that's what I get from him. He can if you need to, but he's not your main guard. 
So I that's see. that's why for for me he's at my ten. I, I, I don't feel think like also you can have Trey do more Curry esque things that way, like go off the ball, yeah, run right. around screens. Run around yeah. screens. You have a player like the John the John who can Facts. hold yeah. the ball, make a play, like make a play for Trey, for example. Yeah, sure. Well. Exactly. Who's, who's your nine? My nine. Yeah, because we'll just go back around this way. Desmond Bain. Okay. Uh, cool. Kind of for what you said. I mean, I, I like what, the way... What did he average? Yeah, he screen? averaged some pretty good numbers, bro. That's why I kind of had to put He's him... He's, again, 90% from the line. Yeah. Just doesn't miss a ton. He like, averaged nice. 20, 22, 5, 4 on 48... 40 88 splits. Yeah, his, his splits are damn near 50 40, 50, 40 yeah. 90. Yeah. I mean, he don't get me wrong, he is probably the third option on the team, and that's kind of what I was holding Tyrese Maxi. That's why he didn't make it. Mm -hmm. But I think he, to me, I mean, he, he didn't play he as the next many. Step, yeah, bro, but, like, well, he didn't play a lot of games this season, so yeah, that's probably why under like, 60. Yeah, y'all probably you probably had him at your I have him mention. on my list for sure, or, oh, or, 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 or sorry, on my honorable mentions, yeah, mentions yeah, but bad. like, yeah. uh, I don't know, because I because of that reason, yeah. I like the way he plays. I mean, he's a great complimentary guard to Jaw, he, yeah. he is not Jaw's your main ball handler, he can be your secondary. But he can go out and get you buckets. He for can sure. defend pretty well. He he is a bigger body. Like, I think it's just a. I think he was he's he's probably he's nine. the ninth. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, cool. My nine, bro, is Tyrese Maxey. Tyrese Maxey. I mean, we kind of were. Yeah, I talked about him a little bit, but I, I think again. he has to be on the list. I I, I again, we've already kind of talked about his averages, but he's he's somebody that I feel like has taken the next step too. Yep. Uh, I feel like he's somebody now where the the Sixers can trust him to go out in a playoff game and produce at a high level, mm -hmm. and that's 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 already something in itself. But yeah, he's, he's he kind of just took that next step, bro. I feel like he he's playing more games. You know, he's not really injury liability. Mm -hmm. um, you can count on Tyrese to you know show up. Yep. Um, but yeah, he's he's one of the better. Like I feel like he's just so quick, bro. He's yeah. one of the quicker players in the NBA. Yep. Uh, he's a great ball handler. So yeah, that's why he's at nine. What yep. about you, Los, bro? What you got? I'm thinking about this. I'm thinking either Anthony Edwards or maybe RJ Barrett. I would put there. Wow, it, it, it should a be a lot higher for me. <laughs> yeah. Anthony Edwards. Yes. yes. Yes, he's a it, lot it is me. way higher for me. I'm not gonna lie to you. That, that, that made me shook. Yeah, I was probably like, might be. Oh. He's probably higher. Bro, yeah, we're talking about uh, nine. He's top five, nine. bro. Oh, this yeah, nine. I thought. Yeah. Maybe, I don't think. He, I don't know if he's top five. I think so. Yeah, it's top five. <laughs> Dang. Um, we're on the same wavelength. I think bro. I'll just put RJ Barrett. Okay, okay. yeah, that's that's, solid, that's a good one. Good player I, I on was, the Knicks. That's a great for a good he, number nine. I he had like a good that, year this year. He really did. Had, he's had a good last two seasons. Like, last two seasons, yeah, were really he, solid. That, I like that one. That's good. Pick. I, I didn't even think about him. Really. I thought about him, but he didn't make my. Yeah, list. he didn't make my list at all. That's what I. That was a good pick. Uh, solid. Yeah, he was so he's averaging twenty five and I think three. Three. But the thing is, is he he's doing this with Brunson with Brunson and, and I didn't and know. Randall. Yeah, and Randall and I didn't know that it was gonna be like that. So yeah. I think that's he why Lowe's has him. He impressed list. me a lot. I mean, like Andre he's still Barry, producing. Yeah, he he kind of has like hasn't had the best career as uh -huh. of late. So the fact that he was able to kind of step into his own, yeah, and like that, prove himself that role. I can be still one of these guys. Second, third option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, obviously Brunson's probably number one. And then Randall and him are kind of the, yeah, come on now. <laughs> Randall and him are kind of the toss up, you know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. whoever steps up. But he, he impressed me, honestly. He had 43, yeah, 31, like 71 shooting splits. Not too bad. That's a good one, bro. Big body. I, I think we're spinning back this way. Yeah. So who's your eight? So I think eight is. I'm actually put the John T. Murray at eight. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's Not a that's a good one. He said. Yeah. We already talked about him, but I would put him at eight. Um, because he's definitely like, he's not top five, but he's definitely around the top ten. So I feel like eight would be a solid place for him. Man, DeJounte. I'm also making my list as I go in a little. Yeah. Bit. No, I got my top five picked out, but that's fine. Um, I feel like. The way that I've been picking up for like John Murray. That's a good one. I that is like a great like pick, We kind of already talked about him, but yeah, he's we, been, you know, kind of instrumental to what the Hawks have been doing, bro. He's uh, trying to do it. Yeah, so, yeah, trying to do it yeah. at least. Um, we'll kind of see how that experiment plays out. Mm -hmm. But mine is an a, a interesting one. Um, who do I have, actually? I kind of forgot. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is always interesting, bro. He's basically a shooting guard playing point guard right now for okay. his team. CJ McCollum, bro. Oh wow, he's gonna be my eight. Okay, uh, he's definitely a shooting guard, but he's playing point right now because yeah. the, the the Pelicans don't have a point guard really. Yeah, true. Um, but CJ, bro, I mean, he plays hella games. He's super consistent. Um, you know, his free throw percentage just dropped off a little bit. I think he was like shooting like 75% this year, which mm -hmm. is like down from his career average. But yeah. I mean, again, what 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 more can I really say? He's you know averaging 20, you know, four and five. It's 
CJ McCollum, man. He's yeah. a fringe on all star, but he's definitely one of the better sh- shooting guards in the league. I feel like he's mad underrated still, but I, I feel like he deserves to be on a top 10 list. So okay. he's my eight. Good pick. Sure. Good yeah. Pick. My sure. number eight, this might shock y'all a little bit. Uh, Bradley Beal is my wow, eight. That's bro. Low. That's low. That's low for me. I, I don't. I don't know. Like, of course, he's a great player. Uh, he's That's gonna, low. Uh, here. I'll bring yeah, up. Bro, he yeah, averaged thirty two years ago, bro. That was two years ago, though, sir. Yes, I'm, sir we're talking about. I got Beal in my top five. I'm yeah, just yeah, you know, I'm yeah, basing yeah, off the last season. Yeah, yeah, I'm not basing yeah, off yeah. of career, but no, no, no. I mean, not sure. taking anything away from him. You play fifty games. <laughs> yeah, he you, you average twenty three, four, and five. He still made the list, though. But I mean, you made the list, but like you're saying of the player that he is. Right. I mean, he is an instant bucket, but like. It's one of those things where it's like, I don't know. There's just a lot of players this season that were good two guards and who are younger that can play both sides. He can't really play defense that well. He is an undersized two guard as well, 6'4", you know, a little small. I mean, great, great offense player. Great. um, Started to get a lot better playmaking as well. But, uh, yeah, my eighth guard. I mean, okay. These nicknames, Big Panda. (laughs) (laughs) And then my seventh. Is Ooh. actually Paul George. Ah, okay. I was gonna put Paul George as like a small forward. Really? Yeah. But I, I want to hear. I want to hear why you think. Uh, he's a, so why I think what he's a like shooting a shooting guard? guard. Yeah, like what makes you seem more as like a guard so instead of like that to forward? Because he's like a point forward. Yeah, he's kind of like he's got the handle. Yeah. So if, he, <laughs> if the uh, Clippers. Uh, roster is healthy every season. He's gonna be a two guard. Yeah, no, Kawhi's you're, gonna be. You're a right. Three. You're right. So that I kind of took that into Makes consideration. Like, yeah, yeah. He, and sense. he is yeah, a, nah. a big two guard. He's like yeah, six yeah. nine, but he has. He's a, a three player too. Yeah, so that so, count. And I'll, and I'll bring up his stats, but his stats I mean, are good, bro. If you you know Paul George, if you know <laughs> Paul George, bro, yeah, he, for sure. He's a two way all star. He averaged. 24, 6, 5 on 45, 37, 87 shooting yeah, splits. He's scoring more now, now than he used to. Than he yeah. used to, exactly. I mean, he only played 56 games, so that is why he's lower. If he uh-huh. played 60, 70 games, he'd probably be top five easily for me. But, I mean, there's nothing you could take away from this man. He's going to lock up your best – or not lock up, but he's going to guard your best player, and he's going to also score – 20 plus a game. So. Yep. No, yeah, that's inefficient. It's a good too. seven. It's not that he's, you know, but there's also, for me, this, I'm basing off of this season, but also taking in consideration they miss games, but you are still Paul George. Right. I will take you, obviously, ahead of any of my. My people on the list lower. So yeah, yeah, yeah. With him not even being healthy. Healthy, yeah, so yeah. yeah. I take sense. that in consideration. For know? sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, my seven's Dejounte. We've Dejounte. already kind of talked about yeah. him, yeah. Plenty, but yeah. he's said. he's he's high on the list because of his defense for me. Mm-hmm. Um, that's kind of why he's at seven. But who's your seven most? Seven. I'm yeah. thinking. I might. I'm liking the Paul George, but I don't know if I really think of him as a two guard. I know he's going to play the two-guard, of course. Like, you made a really good point with that. But um, I'm really I'm really confused on this one. I might... I might Honestly, I might say CJ. Okay. I'll probably yeah, say yeah, CJ. Yeah. CJ's is still balling. Yeah, bro. Still like, balling, like, people really forget. Yeah, yeah, dude. That's a good pick. That's why he's, he's on my he's list, on, too. Like, I get he's on the, on the Pelicans, but... Like, the Pelicans aren't that good of a team. Zion's been out, but he's been putting up good numbers. Like, yeah, yeah dude. That. Consistent. For sure. yeah. yeah, consistently. Yeah. Um, I, I think you got to spin back, though. Yeah. yeah, so six. Six, let's see. We're getting closer to the top five. I oh, think yeah. six, yeah, for I sure. might put. Um, um, I'll throw Anthony Edwards, number six. Okay. okay. Respectable. That's six. higher. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, I like that. I think that deserve number six so. still would, higher. Would, if, still he higher. Number, if he wasn't my number six, he'd probably be my number five. So okay, I think respect. I think that's fine. There's a lot of answers. Uh, any, anything you gotta say um, about him? He be cooking like <laughs> he be cooking. Yeah, <laughs> shit. One First of time All Star this year, dude. First time All Star. Season was when he played the Heat. Oh man, and I, bro, I keep seeing that clip and I be like, yeah, can't say it. What it didn't count though. Yeah. Oh damn! Yeah, that didn't count. Yeah, and it still be getting replayed. Yeah, for sure. He he played seventy nine games, yeah. durable, and twenty five. Yeah, that's a good point. Six durable. four on forty five, thirty six, seventy five splits. Like this is best his, year what, of his career. Third year mm-hmm. in the league, he's only twenty two, twenty one. Has a lot left to grow. Oh, bro! 
it, and, exciting. And the fact that the Timberwolves kind of given in the keys to the franchise, Man. I feel like it's only gonna make him, yeah, probably bro. better. To be honest, for so. sure. My my six is something we already talked about. Beal, Beal. Yeah, I I feel like he's he's again he's such an elite scorer that he just has to be higher. And him being on the Suns does bring up my value for him a little bit, but does obviously, it? yeah, it's not really, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. But like from last year, I could tell he was a little, he was kind of struggling a little bit, but I still feel like that, that 30 points per game, you know, is still in there. So Somewhere. I feel like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta put Beal okay. at six. We kind of already, you know, I'm starting to get into the players yeah, we, we already we, talked I mean, about. Yeah, but we, we kind of ran into it last episode as well. We, we kind of are talking about like overlapping yeah, players. Yeah, so. yeah. And my six is actually Zach Levine. Ah, this is a new one. Uh, yeah. You know, I feel like he deserves to be in there. I mean, he, he's in my list. Explosive Man. shooting guard. Probably, honestly, behind Ant, I would say probably the most athletic in, in my the two eyes. guards. Yep. And he is kind of like that mid range driving to the rim, but he could also shoot the three really well. He played 77 games, averaged 25, 4 and 4 uh, on 48%. Uh, field goal 37 3 and 84 free throw. Like, shoot crazy shooting splits for a player that did played pretty much the whole season on a team that wasn't good. Yeah, so no, I think no, that's for sure. why he probably might not be on some people's list for sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. just because his team wasn't good. But uh, undeniably, he's probably one of the most exciting shooting guards in this league right now. So, for sure, yeah, and then. Yeah. Going into the top five, top five now, top boys. Five, top five. This yeah, one top I five. know is gonna be controversial because he probably isn't even on your list. Uh, Kyrie. Okay, yeah, because it was like you said last time. You I said shooting yep, guard. I said yeah, yeah, yeah. So and I don't have a problem with it. Yeah, we can look at his splits yeah, too because they're crazy. Crazy. <laughs> I mean, we looked at it last time when you named him. And yeah. He didn't even make my list. Right. I unintentionally did that because I didn't. I saw him as more of a shooting guard. It says it there, though. Yeah. Point guard and shooting. Yeah, guard. and I think it's just the teams he's been playing on. He has been the two guard. A hundred percent. Even like, with I, the Nets. I think of Kyrie as a two guard. Yeah. Because like even 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 with uh, Cleveland. Yeah, but to say like even when LeBron came, he wasn't even initiating at some yeah. points. But like, so he played sixty game, average twenty seven five and six on 49 37 90 fringe for 50 40 90 club crazy yeah uh, i mean there's not much as a point say. guard literally a wizard on yeah. the court probably the best ball handler and someone that is gonna go out and get fucking 30 points a game Hell yeah. and still contribute even though you know hasn't mm -hmm. played that many games I mean, he's obviously still a top five. Shooter yeah, in this for league, sure. Regardless of how many games he's played, so yeah, for not sure. Not much else to say. Yeah, no, my uh, my five, my my fifth person. I get my five. Uh, my fifth person is Zach Levine. So you yeah. you just talked about it, okay, but yeah. I feel like Zach Levine deserves to be in the top five, especially with the season that he had last year. Like you were saying, um, crazy, just on a bad team. But he's he's. Like, he came from the Timberwolves, and he's kind of, like, changed his game around, bro. Completely. Like, he's a completely different player. Um, he's one hey, of the Timberwolves, man, it's not. Besides Ant, I mean, even Cat, I guess. I know. This Wiggins not, left, did yeah. better. But, it, yeah, Zach Levine, Levine just, left, did better. He just had a great year last year. I think he's hyper-athletic. I just, I just see him as one of the better shooting guards in our league. So, mm -hmm. we kind of already talked about yeah. him, but... Yeah, he's my fifth person. Um, I pro that's actually my pick as well. Okay. Levine. So yeah, I have okay. Levine as my fifth pick. Okay, for um, sure. Just to go, go on that, um, I'm probably gonna put Kyrie somewhere like, I'm probably gonna put him in the top three, but have another pick as my top three. And if it wasn't for them, I would probably put Kyrie up there. Okay. Just because Kyrie, I don't know, gotta say too much about Kyrie. Yeah. That's already not been said. So, but in terms of like we're going shooting guards, and I'm not gonna put Kyrie just because I've seen him as a point guard. Even though you play him, like you said, you, he's basically a shooting guard yeah, in yeah, yeah. aspect. Um, but yeah, Zach Levine just changes up his whole game, cooking, mm -hmm. very good for the Bulls, even though the Bulls haven't been playing good. But he just changed his whole game. He's really a whole different player. He's a superstar caliber player now. Like, yeah. if he's on a good team, he can do it. Like, yeah. for real. Yeah. yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, yeah I'm he got a him. shot now, for real. Yeah, he got, he can shoot now, he can drive, he he has a whole offensive game. Like, yeah, for yeah, real. yeah, he really just needs to work on his defense, and he'll be. Yeah, true. I think he can, like, cause he's athletic. He's yeah. athletic to, enough to play. So. Yeah, there's some people that are just built to be like good at the sport. Yeah, yeah. But we're rolling the top four. I think it was you, right? You, yeah, top, yeah, top four, four, top four. Nah, see, I good. had what you put way down. Yeah. I got Bradley Bill. That's my fourth. Okay, okay. That's my fourth. Why is he? Why, so why is he so high? Um, he's just, he's a baller. Um, 
I might also have. He went to UF. I always got to represent yeah, yeah, UF yeah. with the Florida, game for Florida, for bit. sure. That's um, true. Florida, Can't forget. And he was a good draft pick. He yeah, was, yeah, yeah, He's yeah. been carrying the, the Wizards on his back for the yep. last decade. Yeah, I would say so. Um, Hell yeah. Of dude. course, he had help from John Wall in the yeah, early years. But he We're not going to sleep good. on John Wall. John Wall was cold on the Wizards. Yeah. Crazy he's not even playing right now. I feel like a lot of teams could use John Wall, but that's another topic. Yeah. But Bradley Beal, Hooper. He got he Yeah, he's buckets. pure Hooper, like he's you're saying. Like, He'll, yeah. he'll give you buckets. He'll yeah, yeah, yeah. Give pure you Hooper. Hell yeah. He's yeah. always hooping in the pro ams too. If y'all ever have a chance, like they some professional Facts. players, like they go during the summer, like during the off season and shit, they always be at colleges and high schools yep. for free and shit. So you can pull up and watch them. Yep, he's yep. always in the, the pro am circuits. But uh my four is Ant Man. We already kind of talked about it, but Same. he's in my yep. top five without a doubt. Ant Man's like, I mean, what can you like? I mean, super athletic, bro. He's just coming into his own. He's still super young, and I would say like he's already a top five shooting guard in the league, which yep. is just goes to show you he's his like progression and his like trajectory yep. in the future. Um, he could be like one of the best shooting guards in the league, and he already is. But like top three, top two, I think he um, will be honestly. Yeah, for I think sure. He's I think get, he will be. take that next leap this like season. this season. Yeah, yeah, I like think he, so too. That's he why might, he's at four for me. I would say he might be like you know because we were talking about it earlier, like doing like a predictions mm-hmm. for the top players for each position he might be like top three for me <laughs> yeah for sure like, honestly i'd agree with that like where he's headed yeah, yeah dude for sure that's why he's so high for yeah, me i would say yeah he's in my the same spot for me okay number four number four yeah, man okay right, but i guess i can turn yeah, you it back can around, flip it around. number three mm-hmm. um it's your favorite yeah the one and only Jalen. i know Brown. i'm about to say he's, he's my yeah. three too he's my number three i mean yeah yeah so we're, we're gonna get we're gonna align here yeah shortly. i would say so we could, we could go on our little spiel about it. I mean, now we're in top five. Like, this is the guys. These are you these guys dudes. should know. If you, yeah. yeah you, like, you understand You'll it. know. 67 games played, mm-hmm. 27 points per game, yep. seven rebounds, uh, I four assists. I think we might have the same top three. We yeah, might. We could. We probably will. All NBA this All year. All NBA second team? Mm, third. Probably. Third team? Is it third or second? Second, maybe. Uh, it doesn't say it. You remember I was trying to figure it uh, out? Oh, uh, uh. I'm pretty sure it was second. It was probably second because uh, Jalen was first, and they had first and second. Oh, you're. I know right, you don't right. like to bring that up, but yeah, I know, that was I definitely know, what I they know, did. I mean, I know, I know. probably easily one of the best two way guards in the league is better to me more on the defensive side, and I think that kind of showed in this past series with the. Um, your boys, the Heat, man. Yeah, he does yeah. not have a left, so that's why he wasn't higher for me. Just because the second team, yeah, yeah, yeah. these the <laughs> players above him are just kind of on a different yeah. level Dude, offensively. He's, he's for me. All of these second team. Jesus. Yes, bro. I mean, he he balled out. I mean, I don't, I don't yeah, think... Yeah, I mean, 27... Like CJ is saying, bro... Sometimes he balls out, and then sometimes, like you he said... Disappears. He disappears. Yeah, like... Yeah, he's, that's just also the Celtics. He's my three, too. Yeah, that's so, the Celtics. That's yeah. my... That's, I think we have the same... That's what I'm saying. Top I think three? we have the same... Yeah, Because right, so, that's my third pick. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay, you want to spin it back, then? Yeah, spin it back. Um, spin it Two? back. We might have... I have Don and Mitchell. Wow. Same, same. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah we we're all, all so then, all yeah, we all so then one. Yeah. Okay, but we'll, we'll talk about we'll D Mitchell yeah, and then we'll, we'll talk about yep, Devin Booker. Yeah. Yep, so yep. Donovan Mitchell, seventy this Spider. year. Or what? Like he had seventy in a game this year. That's besides the point. He was just going crazy. This was his first year on the Cavs. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'd say this was probably his best year. Yeah, that he's had like shit. Ever. Average um, almost 28, 4, 4, yeah, bro. 48, His splits are like crazy. Because Donovan Mitchell is like 6'2", bro. Yeah. And he, you mean to tell me he's averaging like 30? Like a night. He puts another season like this, I could put him number one. Yeah, like he's... Oh, like, Devin I Booker, like, I don't know. I think I like Book is... I I, Devin Booker has disappointed me a little bit seeing him in the finals. And I don't know, I feel like... He hasn't delivered as much these like regular. Yeah, that's season. true. Yeah, I feel like that's true. I feel like Donovan At Mitchell's times. doing more with less than what Devin Booker's doing. That's, that's honestly that's why I I I would say that up to this year. Yeah, and we are counting this year yeah. for me at least. So up to counting he, this year specifically. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If he puts like another year like this, I'd have to put him over Devin Booker. I think he needs to do good in the playoffs, man. He kind of yeah. him in the. Ca- I mean, it was the first season, so I'm giving him a yeah. little leeway. But that team should have made it out the first should round. Should have made it. Okay, should have. Yeah, I didn't know too much about the. Ca- I, I mean, I, they lost in five. Yeah, bro. they lost in five. I know to I, the Knicks. They were late, they were yeah, a high they, seed, right? They were four. Yeah, they were bro. four seed. That makes sense. But they yeah. had like a better team. They had a better honest. roster for sure. Yeah, like more complete. Who did they lose to? The Knicks. The Knicks. Yeah, that's, and like that's one of those teams where like. Uh, I mean, Brunson had like. 
40. But yeah. Brunson was, yeah. Brunson was different, though. <laughs> Brunson yeah. was different. That's why he's Brunson also code, in bro. the top 10 for, yeah, point, for guards, point guards, for, me, for know, sure. he did that. And but. then he also, Brunson did have... I feel like Brunson might have had a better team around in a way, like like kind of built around. Yeah, him. better fits maybe. Better fits. I just know Donovan Mitchell is the well, second yeah. best yeah. shooting guard. Second like, best shooting guard this year, obviously number one. He's been good in other playoff series. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. so I feel like yeah. he has that. He can win a playoff series. Yeah, bro, he put like, up like fifty eight in the playoff team game. Wasn't built for the playoffs. Nah. It's too much of a young team, and he was kind of like the only player with that playoff experience. experience. Yeah, I agreed. Completely. You can take the cake with this one. And man, I mean, I guess undisputed yeah, right. number one shooting guard in the 2022-2023 NBA season, Devin Booker. Kind of crazy to think <laughs> yeah, he Devin only Booker. played 53 games. And yeah, we're Devin rating Booker. him this highly. No but problems there, though. No dude. questions asked yeah, either. Like, yeah. We're all like, unanimous. He averaged 20, 28, 5, uh, and 6 mm-hmm. on 49, 35, 85 splits. I mean... Before KD went there, he was the team. Oh, bro. I yeah. mean, uh, CP3 was there, obviously, but Devin Booker kind of put the team on his shoulders yeah. this past season. Yeah. kind of came into his own. And, I mean, we already knew he was like that, but hit, seeing it on a bigger stage and, you know, after that finals run and kind of seeing what he can do. And he was really playing a lot of PG as well. Yeah, this bro. Season. He really like, was. Yeah. He was initiating I think, offense, I think that too. Was that was another sick. reason why, like, I, he is so high for me. Yeah, like, that was sick to see. It's probably the most complete. His playmaking went up. Like, he's always been a good scorer, oh, but yeah. his playmaking really... It, it just elevated yeah. him to the next level. For so, sure. I mean... D-Book, yeah. Like, CJ kind of already talked about it. I mean, what can we say? Yeah, like, man. He, he was the reason why they went to six games, like, yeah. against the, the Nuggets, you know? like mm-hmm. He, again, it, when he's healthy, he plays um, the minimum games. Like, he'll be all NBA first team. Yeah. Like, he's, like, that good. Yeah. Devin Booker's... Uh, Man, he's he's dangerous, bro, and he's he's always gotten better. I feel like each year he's been in the league, so it's good to see D book, you know, get the get, get the, the love yeah, he deserves, man. Yeah, for I feel sure. like as he's getting that playoff experience, he'll definitely get better in the postseason. Yeah. Um, but he's a bucket. Like, there's not much that can be said about Devin yeah. Booker. He's dropped seventy two. Um, yeah. Uh, he he didn't disappear in these playoffs. Like, no, 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 no. I think he averaged the most. It yeah, was like thirty four games. Team, he this year he really carried his team because Chris Paul is the player that really kind of faded away this season. He didn't really have as yeah. strong a season as he's had. He's getting old. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, but Chris Paul wasn't as prominent as he was in the offense and like everything yeah. else. So he really stepped up, as you said, like playing point guard. Sometimes. For sure, so, I was very, like, very impressed, man. Yeah, y'all want to do like a little recap of yeah. The uh, 10. If you go uh ten to one, Los, so and then we'll bring it this way. So ten to one, then we started Tyrese Maxi. Um, then spot. we went to Jonte Murray. Mm-hmm. Um, seven we went CJ McCollum. Six we went Anthony Edwards. Then Zach Levine, Bradley Beal. And then the top three, JB, um, JB Jalen Brown, Spider, Donovan Spider, Mitchell, Spider. and then D-Book. Devin D-Book. D-Book. Yep. Yeah, Sersky. Mine was, uh, I think, Hero. It went Hero, Maxi, uh, McCollum, and then DeJounte, and then Bradley Beal at six, and then Levine at five, and then at four, I think it was Ant. And then three was Jalen Brown, two was D. Mitch, and then one was D. Book. Yeah, for sure. Yep. Mine was ten was Dejounte Murray, nine was Desmond Bain, eight was Bradley Beal, seven was Paul George, six was Zach Levine, five was Kyrie Irving, four was Ant, three was Jalen Brown, two was Spider, and number one was Devin Booker. Yep. For sure. Let us know what y'all think about our list down in the, in the comments. Comment section yeah, below. man. Leave y'all's list. Um, so we can see what y'all are thinking. I'm pretty sure our probably top three is probably going to be relatively that, yeah, like I think universal, that's kind bro. Of where everyone was kind yeah. of lying at. Like, JB sure. is def- definitely needs to be at least top five, and so does Ant. It's just kind of where you put everybody else. Yeah. You know? yeah. Like, Tyler Heroes, the Tyrese Max. Like, the fringe the, top 10 yeah, players. Yeah, it just kind of depends what you're looking for and stuff like that. So. Uh, yeah, let us know y'all's list down in the comment section below. Was there anything else y'all wanted to say um, before we get out of here? None. Nah. Just, three man, three man. Three man, three man, three man. Three man, man, three man, man. Yeah. Three man, three like, man. Three man. Like, appreciate you guys. It up. Yeah, 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 for sure. Pretty, pretty good list, I feel like. Yeah. yeah. Um, We all kind of had the same bubble of players, just kind of in different places, mm-hmm. which 
everyone has their own taste, but I feel like we did have an agreement, especially around the top five, especially top yeah. three. Yeah, 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 I would say yeah, top, top five for sure. Top three, yeah, were unanimous, but for sure. Uh, ZD and I's list for point guards were like damn relatively the same. Yeah. yeah, I think it might have been like one or two different. It might be like that a lot. Yeah, for I sure. think so. I think it's because like we kind of like are valuing things. Yeah, the yeah, same. yeah. Like, relatively, yeah, similar. So. But yeah, bro. I mean, I don't have much to say either. I mean, thank you guys for watching. If you guys made it this long, we appreciate it. You know, it's been a longer one. Yeah, for show. Sure. This one's gonna be over like an hour and thirty for, oh, sure. for sure. So, yeah. but yeah, it's 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 been awesome. Um, you know, I think episode seven we're we're doing small forwards, right? Yep. Then we'll see we'll see if we have any more Woj bombs for you guys. But, sure, uh, sure. Yeah, we'll keep y'all posted on all NBA news, and we'll try to get it out as soon it's as about we to can. Be July, you know, postseason by the. Once I know off season is crazy, yeah. bro. It's gonna be crazy. Some yeah. of these gonna start. We yeah, start, bro. You know, talking about some of that type I know. of stuff. Wemby's so. going to play. Wemby's gonna Wemby's play. Wemby's going, going to play. School. Yeah, yeah. Brandon Miller. All of them are gonna play. So <laughs> exciting. But yeah, we appreciate y'all for listening and watching to the podcast. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go follow ZD yep. on all social medias. A Town Down. Yep. Yep. Side, yep. Low. So I have everything in the comments or in the description, description. down below. And we really do appreciate it. And we will see y'all next. Sunday. Yep, for sure. Peace, peace, peace. peace. Three man, three man, three man, three man, three man, three man, three man.